I feel like in a couple way. years, I, I, I could buy a horse. I, like, I feel okay. like I could get to that. If things break <laughs> a certain way and for put me. put where, low? Well, you know. <laughs> I didn't get to that part yet. <laughs> and you're one I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm just thinking about what's attainable. I'm, like you're maybe I get a horse. Land first, bro. Yeah. Like, you, you got to work yourself you, outwards and then in. You can't bring a horse to Harlem. Well, you, get the, like, you get the land for the horse first. There's then you get the horse. That's why I don't need to, that, that's why I don't need to listen to rap music. Because like, of this, this very reason right here. <laughs> I'm supposed to go to... What's poppin', people? Welcome back to another episode of Say Less with yes. Laz. Loki's back. Yeah, what up, Loki? Rosie, good, we good. missed you last week. What's going on, people? How you feeling, bro? Chilling. I'm not gonna lie, I did miss you last week, bro. We missed we you. Tried out, we tried really hard to make it happen. My week didn't feel, to, feel right. Like, it was cool. Like, we, you know, shout yeah, out Loot. Cool. Shout out Doe. <laughs> shout out Dreamville. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> shout out Loot. His spirit is still in there. Uh, but that, was just, that don't feel right when I don't get to talk to Lo, man. It was, uh, no. it was kind of a disappointment. You yeah. Know, but, you know, it is what it is. It's all good because we spent a lot of time together. Though. Yeah. We spent a lot of time in Dallas. It seemed like it was a good episode. It seemed like, Oh, you know, shit. Yeah. We haven't all been together since Dallas. We haven't. <laughs> No, we was together. Well, night. we haven't been all oh. together here in this kind of city <laughs> since yeah. Dallas. We was at Pergola the other night. We were in Pergola the other night. Shout out we Pergola. Shout out. Uh, <laughs> but man, but if you're on this YouTube page, you've probably seen like lots of the videos and clips from Wally Mania. So again, shout out to everybody to help make that uh, a, a rousing success. But man. Here's we had I, a good old time, didn't say, we? Here's what I noticed. Yeah. Me and you cannot go on a field trip together. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, I think what we we was just one, we haven't traveled. We we've never traveled together, but me and him have. Right, but that. also me me and Law are so similar to the fact like we're not like bougie at all. We'll drink anywhere. This is we'll true. We'll go anywhere. We, yo, we, and then we, we will ate, find shit to do. We didn't f we ate hooters three days straight. That's fine. I was no I was complained. fine with that. Like I didn't not give a hold you. I, I had small part of me got a little bougie at that point. <laughs> I was like, yo, I'm like, I'm not, I don't want to eat. Small part of me got a little bougie. It was, it was walking distance from the venue. It was venue. right, it was right, right by the venue. venue. I didn't feel like spending an arm and a leg for Cheap hotel drinks. food. It was decent. I didn't feel like going to a steakhouse because mm. I'm trying to cut back on my steaks. Cut back on that red meat. Come back on that red meat. So, trying to stay alive. We're wow. staying alive in 2022. And I'm just like, all right, there's a Hooters Besides right there. Besides all summer. I forgot to go to the, the one in New York because of the pandemic. So I'm like, why not just go down there? Yeah. Spend about $30 on some wings. Flirt with the little, you know, who the girls. It's been a while. And that was Dude, it. When I walked in and they knew him from the night before, I said, oh, God. <laughs> because that, that first note, because we went she there. Like, he just got the exact we same literally went, we like, went there. <laughs> we went there because the first night we got there, we went to the Mavericks uh, we game. The Mavericks Lakers game. He got yeah. tickets, so shout out to Poison Ivy for that. Shout out Poison Ivy. So then we was like, we just went and had a little powwow because I I had a craving for Hooters, so I'm like, yo, I want to go. I want to find Hooters. Right. So we walked down there, had like you know he had crab legs, I had you know my uh, battered up wings. We mm. had some shots, some Jameson. And, the and same to be girl, fair, we had the safest Hooters girl you could find. Safe. In Hooters. <laughs> safe. What do you mean? Like, she's for sure like a teacher on the side. Like, yeah, like, that's <laughs> like, just a night job. That's her like, night job. Yeah. Well, she was kissed. I mean, listen. Yeah. The, 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 the last day when the skinny we were one with the no, glasses. No, the one that was trying to talk to bag me. That, Who's trying to bag you? Oh, I, I missed that part. I didn't Remember hear that part. My boy. Yeah. She was tapping him like, is that you? He was like, no. The dark skin one? Yeah. The whole no, thing. I didn't know. I didn't mean the... I think she almost, she tried to ask if I was your girlfriend too. And then she was like. Everybody always be asking that like when we're together. Like, She's no, like, I was going to ask the, I was going to ask you yesterday. <laughs> so yeah, so the first night we had the same, we had that that, that waitress. Right. Second time we went, she was like, you ordered the same shit last night. I'm like, yeah, I did because that's why I came back to get the same fucking thing. Yeah. I'm not here to experiment. <laughs> I know we have a lot like, of I'm food. I'm not going to Hooters like, yo, let me try this. No, nigga, give me six wings. Mozzarella sticks <laughs> and a double Jameson and keep that shit coming. It's like a grown the adult, fuck? like a child. Like He's a like a grown child. I'm a man, man, no, I'm a man like a child. Yes, I am a man child. There's nothing chicken wrong fingers with being and specific. French fries like, and give a me the, double Jameson. Every day we went there, three days straight, got the same exact The funny thing is, when Lo explains that, I could definitely picture seeing like 
eight-year-old low saying, give me the chicken tenders, <laughs> the high C, and the french fries, and I want a stat. Like, he's the same dude, except you sub substitute the high C with the Jameson or the Kool-Aid and the Jameson. Bro, I just don't, I just, like, my palate is, like, not restricted because I eat, you know, I eat different shit, but it's like when I want what I want, bro, like just stay the fuck out of my way. Yeah. Like, and I wasn't going to argue with y'all if y'all didn't want to go to Hooters. I'm like, yo, I'm going. I've, I've come up. I'm come like, I'll meet y'all after. I feel like we've come a long way from trying to like. But that's why I was like, we can't go on because it was just, I'm with whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm not from here. Yeah. That's why I'm like, I mean, it's Dallas, so like we should like went to like somewhere with barbecue or like next time. I mean, I eventually did, but y'all. <laughs> I mean, I have before, like you know, last <laughs> right. time I was at Dallas, I did, but like. Yeah. I don't know. I was just in the fucking mood for Hooters. No, um, but other than that, after Hooters, after the second day, I think you had to go work. And I feel like me and him went to a happy hour after that because we met up. We went to the hookah spot. With oh, Mikey. we went to the hookah yes, spot uh, with Chloe. Chloe. Shout out Chloe. Good friend. We went to the hookah yeah. spot with Hi. Chloe. So we smoked over there, watched the games, and then DJ Money met us. Mm. And then some of her friends came. And it, then, was, it went from like me and Lo to... 10 people. Yeah. And then Wait. we went to this club where money was there. We was trying to get Wale to come out, but then... He did. He, he came out eventually, but by that time, I was slapped. Smacked. Bro, and I left my I card at the... I said. Bro. I just left. I put my card at the bar, and I, I was like... I to you. <laughs> I didn't say bye to nobody. I left my card at the bar, right? So I'm like, yo, money, like, you know, go ahead and, you know, if you want something, go ahead. Chloe, I was like... And I told the friend, I'm like, yo, go ahead and get something. So at the end of the night, the bill is like ninety seven dollars. Okay, and Lo I'm like, I'm like, no, but I'm like, I know we drunk more than that. Yeah, Lo thought he was robbing them. I'm like, yo, is this <laughs> enough? I'm like, do you want more? He's like, you sure? She's like, no, that, nigga, like this is Dallas. It's cheap. It's it's light life, simple pleasures, right? Like when you're from New York, right? When you go out. You go out expecting to spend a certain amount of money, right? Like you just know if you're wearing a certain outfit, you're going to a certain place. Mm -hmm. I'm taking an L of X amount of dollars, mm -hmm. and I'm okay with that, mm -hmm. right? So I know in your mind, when you once you put the card down to the to the bill to the bartender, whatever, it's like, it's like oh, I'm spending know. this amount of dollars, and it's all right. I'm, I'm, it's good. It's no, good and it's go. like because Chloe, I think but when you're from New York. And you're down south, and you do that same action. Once you get that bill back, and it's only two figures instead of three or Bro, sometimes I four. Bro, I literally <laughs> looked at that shit. Like I looked at, her, I like, looked at the receipt. I looked at her. I looked at the receipt, and then she was like, "What?" <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, "Is this my bill?" She was like, "It says your name, right?" <laughs> Yo. I'm like, I was like, I think she was disgusted that I that I wanted to give her more money. <laughs> So she was like, what's wrong with you? I'm like, it's only 97. Right. She's like, where are you from? I'm like, well, Jersey, but I live in New York. She said, that's why. Yeah. Like, you're just spending like. Why do we live here, yo? <laughs> I don't <laughs> Why do we live here? Like, I I, yo, <laughs> shout out New York, Knicks, born and raised, love it. But every time I leave New York or leave New Jersey. <laughs> you question. I ask myself the same. I'm like, yo, why the, why am I here? Why am I here? <laughs> There. What am I here for? There. Everything, the the cost of living, it is, it is. the air, the air, the air. <laughs> the air. <laughs> Things as simple as the air. Like, like the I love air. New York, <laughs> right? And and trust me, there's definitely a charm to like that weird garbage truck, sweaty yeah. air taste that the summertime in New York gives but you. There's a, we like that. We like that. Tours be like, this shit is, yeah, Exactly. Yeah. It's dirty, ever, it's rats, it smells. I'm like, nah, hey, but hey, like hey. You ever touch the, down okay. in a new city and you take a good whiff of the air and you're like, what's yeah, that? Do they that, clean? That, that, that climate, oxygen? <laughs> that climate control down in Dallas is pretty sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Did they clean outside? <laughs> they, I think they got it right down there. <laughs> it's like, what they put in this air? Like, you ever go somewhere fancy and like, like they just give you something real plain, like they eat the bread and crackers and cheese, whatever. Like, like where did you get And you this? eat the bread, you're like, mm, what's in this bread? <laughs> like, y'all actually cook this? <laughs> where I'm from, they don't be doing this shit. They're looking at you like, uh, you know, like, and then like in the hotel I stayed in, like everybody was mad friendly. Yeah. Like every, <laughs> this is me being an alcoholic. It's weird. <laughs> every day. So when I got there, I was like, y'all feel like I'm on vacation. Uh huh. So I'm like, I'm drinking every day. Uh, Nothing new. So right. at the at the receptionist, they had like these little the little tequila joints. Okay. So every day I was there, every every time I left, I would like, yo, 
run that. Mm -hmm. The last day, she was like, bro, is your liver still standing? <laughs> Lo, I asked you the like, same question at least once a quarter. I'm like, man, <laughs> I told you this is my vacation. And it just became a thing. She was like, all right, which one do you want, the white or the gold? Like, after the second day. She right. Was like, you want. right. But it's like, they're just like, they have... They had a, a great personality. They have great personalities down south. You saw the, the Hooters girl was fucking with us. Love Dallas, bro. They were joking around. They smiled. Not to say we don't love New York women that curse and spit at us. <laughs> <laughs> spit? Whoa, whoa. Whoa. It's been a long time since a, a woman spit at me, sir. No, I'm just saying. Speak like, for you yourself, know, buddy. The, the fact that it's happened. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's been, been a while. It's been a while? What? No, I've never been. A woman never spit on me. No, I'm just I'm saying. Just, like, we're, It's just I'm like just it's just a testament to how you know, authentic. Well, people, people down south are just genuinely friendlier and not, nicer than New York. Bro, it's just like they're yeah, just. Yeah, but they also pull up at your stoplight and shoot you. Of course. They also have. Oh, yeah. Like, if you go look. I mean, if you open carry laws. Yeah, that's true. They sell guns and Walmart. There so yeah, it's go. pretty easy to be a target. <laughs> right. Um, but no, nah, it was just it was nice. It was cool to get out of the city. Uh the weather was fucking perfect. It's good like, to be on stage was. again. It's good to be on stage with y'all. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was that was a that was a time. Yeah. Um, what a time. I don't know what got into Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll yeah, let I her what, yo. I'll let her expound on I'll, that ex not, that I, experience. Rosangela, you need a, you need a, you I feel like that was an outer <laughs> body experience for you. Like that wasn't you. <laughs> that was not me. And I felt like you were tucked you away somewhere watching your ego body. For when like you're out with Bro, I felt like no her I felt like her body was on stage, but like, like her personality was up in the rafters watching her. Like, yo, what is what is that? I'm sitting or you here were just running controlling. around. I'm running around grabbing people from backstage, yeah. getting certain folks, certain people there, make sure Foot Locker's mm -hmm. good, Spotify's good, make sure the screen's good, running around. God. I look on stage, I see Rosie just <sighs> bringing women on stage. Well, I feel like and making, and making I'm like, out. I I'm like, what's no, not no, no, oh, oh, God, no, not you. I'm geez. saying like, no, 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 those <laughs> random oh women on those two, stage. Those two women in, in the front row, you pulled them on stage and they just got straight to it. Well, yeah. I didn't. I, I didn't and I'm like, this is what that. happens. Like, this is the shit y'all be doing. I, I, I did not know that what was happening. <laughs> I, I, like, I've seen I, it happen. I at, didn't see it until I've seen it happen at Palooza. But like, this is what y'all doing at WrestleMania. Did, we're I a did wrestling not, event. I did, right. <laughs> I did not see it until the recap video from Snap God. It was like, oh, you did. Yeah, yeah, yo, I, I caught the lesbians on stage. Right. I was like, that was lesbians on stage, <laughs> yeah, buddy. What are you talking about? And that, and that, that shit was, happened. Oh, no. That shit happened early. Oh, yeah. And I was just like, oh, this is the kind. Oh no, the energy was 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 hot and heavy. Because I remember. Backstage, we was like clowning each other. I think we had like a snap session. Or shout out um, to Street Profits. We had a good, good snap that. session back there. Then um and then uh you know they came on, they did they did the one two thing for yeah. the mass man show. And then, you know, I was still doing my running around, making sure everything was straight. Yeah, so and I mean you had asked me the night before, you was like, yo, just give me one hour. Yeah. And I'm like, no, I'm not I'm not, I'm not getting on. Stage. Give me an hour, bro. <laughs> that's that's why we when we went to Hooters the first night. He was like, come on, bro, just <laughs> Don't come all the way out here and not touch the stage. Come on, bro. So I'm like, you know what? My fuck it. I'm happy to see you on that stage. I'm, I'm, I'm the not, matches. I'm yeah. like, oh, they got low key here. I'm not even <laughs> low key in the stage. Okay. Yeah, I got on the stage and then I, you know, I do my usual speeches that I, I did it early. It's a very nice speech you gave. I appreciate. And it, then man. here comes Tweedledee, <laughs> and she just went to another level. Like that's why I felt comfortable because I'm like, all right, I took it here. <laughs> She took it Let me to tell you levels something. unbeyond. Let me tell you something. Oh, if we're ranking God. the most popular women of WrestleMania weekend, right? <laughs> she's top three. It was like Bianca Belair. Yep. She's Sasha top three. Banks. And Rosie. And Ro <laughs> Rosie was top every fucking three. Every wrestler, every adjacent oh, wrestler, no. manager, Jesus. commentator. They never see her day in their life. <laughs> everybody. Who is? What are you? Who is that? Can I meet? You're Last the real thing I remember uh, was climbing that giant. Yeah, shout out to Big Omos. <laughs> all seven foot four of him. So many moments I didn't even realize what happened, and then so I look, it was like the Hangover, right? Like you don't know <laughs> yeah, what's happening. Yeah, it's like no, it was just like until you're looking through the photo. There were like, yeah, there were things. <laughs> there were things that were happening that I did not remember until I seen my phone the next morning, or yeah, I saw the recap video. Like I forgot I did swag surf. I swag, like, yeah, I was like, I was like, I'm I don't a know. Swag I'm like, when the fuck did that happen? Like who? I do a swag surf for the crowd of years. I'm like, just a swag that, surf. I, I, like me and Poison Ivy were going back and forth. I'm telling, like, play this record, play that. Record. I feel like now I'm at Palooza. It's just like. Right, it felt very Palooza-ish. I'm like, this is not my show. Let me stop. Let me, it felt very Palooza-ish. But it was a good time, man. Yeah. And if anything, 
Uh, let us know. We gotta we gotta do it again somehow. We gotta, yeah, I mean, with a better not better, but like with a structure formulated for us. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it. We're gonna we do it. Flush it out less. the right way and 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 make it a thing for us. I think we we have potential to one thousand percent. Mm. Well, let us know. Let us know, man. Like you know, if y'all listen to the show or Packer want man. us to come through. I mean, I know what c- cities I want to hit, but if there's a city that you think we should come by, Dallas, and, Houston, we're gonna start. Putting that thing together and Philly, DC, LA, Lake. definitely Atlanta, Atlanta, Miami. Ooh. I was thinking, I was thinking, maybe like five, five stops. <laughs> no, I'm just, no, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I'm not saying stop. no. I was, I, I, was that, I'm, no, I'm just throwing, I was just throwing the cities out there. Yeah. Go to. I don't know how many we're gonna do, but I think those are the cities we can go sure. to. We're already pretty popular through the Palooza. Um, yeah, lane, so it's weird. Like I, I, I didn't put, I didn't. When we were all on stage together, like that never really occurred to me. Yeah. Like, wow, a lot of folks really haven't seen us on stage since Palooza, and they've been to Palooza before. That was the first time I've been on stage. I was like, wow, since that was the crazy. last time I was on stage was at Barclays. Right, it's crazy. That was the last time I held the mic and I was actually really? cool. like the last time I was on stage. Well, what a way to go out! That, that was the way to do it. Right, but, right. If that was the last time, two thousand nine. And then I left the the the, the show. Yeah, mid show. Yeah, I caught you. So I'm like, through. yeah, I'm like Rose, you got it. And then Rosie, Rosie, you, you, the, you, I don't want to talk man, you go. No, nah, yeah, you, you tell I, us. Don't talk yeah. about it. I don't want to uh, do we talk about you twerking on Tom uh, <laughs> Phillips? Do we talk about uh, you uh, trying to uh, twerk with Rob Van Dam and his wife? Do we talk about uh, <sighs> you? Wait, was that, like the, was that the a guy weird with sort the... of like Maury show thing <laughs> with all the women <laughs> that sitting him. in that semicircle? That oh, that was me. That, that was, was you. That was out. See that? The yeah, that segment was him. That was yeah, me. Okay, that, okay, because yeah. like you left again, right? And Amelia was gone, so the girls were on stage. So I'm like, all right, I gotta make Man. this. Like we can't just be dancing and shit. I gotta make this some kind of like interactive, interactive. Experience. So that's why I was like, I sat them all down. Where are you from? What do you do? This and a third. And then I asked one of the girls, I'm like, what do you expect to see tonight at Wally Mania? Um, she went, you know, to her spiel. And then I asked another girl. Yeah. Uh, I think it was like, why is it important that we have black women um, at WrestleMania? Right, right, spiel. right. So I try to keep it. I it tried to very, like. Listen, for a segment that was not planned, I was highly impressed. Bro. Oh, no, I really, <laughs> listen, impressed. I will, I'll, get, I'll think on my feet. You bro. are a host yeah. among hosts. They don't, they don't say this for, they don't say this lightly. Yeah. You know was, what I mean? Low key gets. Hey, once I started, once I started like watching it unfold, I'm like, all right, I can find a certain pocket to make it interesting. It was a good night, man. And it was then a good I went night. To Hooters. That was a good night. Is that where you went? That's where I went, yeah. God damn. I went right back to Hooters. Understood. Understood. It was good wings. Can't hold there you. Four nights in a row. <laughs> Nigga, I don't give a fuck. You know how cheap them shits are? <laughs> uh, I didn't break the bank at all when I went to Dallas. Oh, that fuck makes sense, that. though, because it's across the street. Hmm? Yeah, it was yeah, right there. I don't know where to find you. You know, we keep trying to talk about like your adventures at Wally Mania, and you keep like. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> yeah, you're, you're, you're yeah, deflecting. Oh, you are, well. yeah, my, you are a master deflecting of, of. Yeah, I haven't seen that much deflection. Yeah, that's, that's yeah. Like, the Rosie Ventures, I Herb Jones deflecting. You know? I just, I just know I woke up and my Twitter was like, it was my me Twitter. and Tom. T- yeah, <laughs> it was you me. And who? You and me Tom. And Tom. Uh, Shout out my boy Tom Hannafin, the former Tom Phillips in WWE. Yeah. That Young was, white. What what was it about Tom? Because you said, oh, I thought it was his birthday. I'm I thought like, it was his birthday. I'm like, Rosie, nobody said anything about, <laughs> yeah, I don't about this man's birthday. Why are you throwing think. ass on him in the middle of the stage? <laughs> I, I was just like, why? I'm because like, you were saying how white he was. Yeah. I was like, it'd be very funny to do something not white to him and see how, he, how his not white gonna hold you. reacts. <laughs> Held his own, man. I, I just said. Held his own. I'm like, I'm okay, like, Tom. Like, can he be? I'm like, okay, Tom. You better throw. You better throw them hands back and let her go to work. I was like, okay. I was just like, Yo, why is she throwing ass at all? I'm like, yeah, bro. I'm like, Rosie, you got it. Like, but at that point, I'm like, I don't got the energy for this shit. All. It I'm was, like, I don't got the energy for this shit. I was, just, I was just looking around. I was like, man, Tom, this is either going to be the greatest moment of Tom's life or the most embarrassing moment of Tom's life. <laughs> And Tom helped me, he, he made me look good. I was like, all right, boy, you better stand up straight. That was uh, what was funny, was you doing that? Yeah, I was like, okay, let's go. I was I'm like, not, I'm not going to hold you. That was, that was, a, uh, that was a, a fun time. Fantastic. Well, thank you, everybody who pulled out to Wally Mania. Can't wait to, probably going to do something this summer again in July for SummerSlam when they go to Nashville. And then, you know, Wally Mania next year in L.A. But, you know, before that, we were, we're going to do something. But, well, you know. 
We'll, we'll cross okay, that bridge we'll, when we get we'll, to we'll it. We'll make sure we got. Guess what, though, Lo? What happened? Guess what, though, Rosie? What? Some new Drake dropped. Uh oh. Woo hoo. That's my owl hoot. Just did we did we know he was gonna drop this or no? No, 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 no. It was no. a leak. That was a leak. That's why I sent to y'all last night. Um, uh, is that how owls sound? No. Ooh, they go, ooh. Ooh. No, that's how ludicrous oh, sounds. Okay. Yeah, that's ludicrous. Saturday oh, morning. Saturday, yeah, that's how ludicrous sounds. I don't think. And it's not Saturday. Yeah, it's, I'm co-opting it's it. Thursday. I'm co-opting the sound for the for all the OVO angels big, out there. Good. Your boy Drake back. Can I get a hot take off real quick? Go ahead, say what you gotta say. Why does Drake music sound better leaked? Because <laughs> we're not supposed to have it. It sounds better. That's don't why. it give you like? No, no. We're not supposed Every, to no, have we're not supposed to have it. Everything that's that feels good, tastes good, yeah. or it's some shit we're not forbidden. supposed to have. For some reason, that's why we like liquor so much. You're really not supposed to be drinking this shit. I don't know if it's because then like. Why do they sell it? All right, go ahead. I don't know if it's because Drake puts that weird like fuzzy forty fader on his songs or whatever. He does or, it on every damn. Song. Or maybe some of like the my favorite Drake records came from like. The October's very own blog era with the sound clouds and the unfinished joints, but it's just something about Drake music when like if I could just click on a sketchy link <laughs> where it's like not smart like smart it's I don't know. I could almost compare it to like, you know, when like our age group first got like C D players and old man was like, Yeah, I know nothing about this and pull out a big ass vinyl. <laughs> and it just sound better to them. Like it just sounds like I mean, the music of their youth. And for me, for some reason, it's just something about hearing like a, 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 a scrunch face Drake verse, which I said. I said when Drake when Drake gives you a scrunch face verse, like when you go like one of one of when it uh, owes, I haven't I haven't felt over some owes. low quality unfinished. <laughs> No, the verse, the verse, no, the verse, there's a verse. Ah, uh, fantastic, every time. DJ Drama said that the verse, Jack Harlow's verse isn't done. Okay. And it's a, definitely a leak. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the complete well, Drake shit. verse. But, sounds great. I was about to say, I don't know. If should he's be adding more to, to that verse. I mean, listen. No, actually, I said, Drama said Jack Harlow's adding more to the verse. It's not finished. It's enough. definitely the case of... <laughs> Yeah, you got to go back and do another verse up here. That Drake no, verse. it's not even going back to do another verse. It's just continuing what he he was doing. Right. Um, right, right. But I mean, what do you expect? It's, it's like, not, it's like this, is, this is. I'm assuming if you if you're talking to drama, this is probably going to be. Well, like no. Well, uh, this is Harlow's this album. Through a third party. Um, okay. That drama. So this is a Jack Harlow record. I'm assuming. Yes. Okay. This, I'm assuming this is a Jack Harlow record. Okay. Well, he probably needs another verse. Um. Yeah. Probably. I'm throwing the a 32 Drake. on that month. If I'm if I'm him. That you're not gonna, you're not, you're, you're not gonna out rap Drake. Listen, let's just, like, let's just keep it a buck. Listen, I'm not no he's rapper. He's not, at least not yet. I don't know how rappers think, but if I give you a, like a nice 16, a good 16, all right, and I send it over to you, my yo, Rosie, <laughs> needs you to, yo, man, we've been trying to get this in for a minute. You know, they probably weren't, you know how the studio sessions go. Now, nah, they probably weren't in the studio. Probably, uh, uh, it was a record, been holding on to it for a while. <laughs> Drake probably sent it back. There's something so disrespectful about a 32 when I only gave you a 16, right? Like, well, we don't who know, told well, you we, know, we don't know that. I don't know that either, but I'm just saying if I was a rapper, right, and I know I'm going to add more shit to it, it's like, oh, why would you? No, why would you? No, 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 you, no, no. Don't 32 me, bro. <laughs> oh, and just, cut it, on, just cut it off. It happens just a cut lot. It off. No, it doesn't. It cut, does get it, cut off. Just, yeah. cut, just cut it off. But then. If I ask for a 16, you give me 48 or 32, I'm cutting that, and then I'm keeping that. Right. But if you're a rapper, right? But if, you're, if, you, leave, if you leave a gap open. Right. That means you want me to go. Drake good for that though. Like I feel like he had a ver I feel like he originally had a verse. Or maybe I'm I might be wrong. This is me just galaxy braining this. I could be off. But you know, ask the Martin music. Originally it was just him on the hook singing and shit. And then, you know, they dropped a verse later. He does have a verse on that. Exactly. Yeah. So maybe I'm thinking like maybe there was a whole verse on it. Ross is probably like, man, we just want to hear this nigga sing and put the the maybe verse they, on Maybe they didn't want Drake on it. And like, then that record is that record is good without. The but verse. that's the thing though. You can't even cut his, this motherfucker's 32 because then he puts it out and now everyone's like, all right, now we're just gonna listen to the Drake version of this song and now. Which is why you keep him. You keep right. it on there because. Like now, now look at it. It's now not even official. Like, now nah, I gotta go and drop a thirty-two. Now it's not it's like it's not even an <laughs> official record out, and it's been the topic of conversation since last night. Yeah, because um, it's un it's leaked Drake. Leaked Drake is just there's just <laughs> something about leaked Drake, bro. No, that it's just, not. See, this is where this is where we probably go to leak. debate. Where, where do we? Here we go. 
It's not because it's leaked. Is it Sherbert season? Sherbert levels rising? No. <laughs> it's because we really haven't had a verse from him like that in a long right. time. That's right. what... Because we didn't go crazy over leaked records like this. We didn't nah. really... We sat with those records for a couple days. Nah. It was cool. Boom. That was it. Leaked Drake this, records come through my email all the time. Right. So it was like, okay, we we heard, but this... This yeah, this got people talking. That's why I'm like, where was this on CLB? What, what do you mean? Lowski. What's up, You man? know you do it all. I try. And you do it without breaking a sweat. I Listen. And you do it all in style. Do I? That's why Xfinity fully reimagined the QX60 to help you conquer it all with ease. A luxury SUV as functional as it is stylish and as versatile as it is serene. Available features like seating for up to seven passengers, a suite of active safety features, and mess massaging front seats. Introducing the all-new Xfinity QX60, designed to help you conquer life and style. Now, with extremely limited availability, contact your local retailer for inventory information. And I'm copping now. Hey. <laughs> <sighs> he, was, he was. Right. Okay. So, so that's why we're talking about this record. All right. So, has enough time passed that we could be honest about COB? We I've been honest. I've been, been plenty. Honest. I've been, been honest, honest about this shit. Y'all niggas wanted to. It wasn't. I, like, listen, when I say y'all, I mean oh, y'all. I'm like, I didn't. Not going to act like there wasn't good songs on there. It definitely was. Didn't say that. But, you know. But it was just, mid. It's definitely the, the the worst aging Drake album I can remember. Like I go back and listen to the song, I'm like, damn, this is worst aging. <laughs> it, it didn't age well. I don't think it aged that well. But I don't know. I could be wrong. Yeah, I said the same thing about yeah. I mean, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't it was bad. Like, it no, wasn't, there was definitely some bangers on there for sure. But it, I wouldn't put it like high up on the discography. Yeah, you, it's just it just didn't hit. It doesn't give. It didn't, it didn't give smack. the sort of uh, it didn't smack. Stay in power that most Drake I albums tend to have. I don't even think I finished listening to it. it, it Heard that a lot. That like, there's songs on there that like. I, there's songs in there I have no idea that are out. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Like not the, the, the staying power on it that didn't, album. Wasn't it that didn't great. give me like. Nah, I gotta hear this shit all the way through. And I yeah. think, I think a small part of Drake probably knows that too. I think that's why, <laughs> that's why you had to go that's so why hard. That's why I had to go hard. That's this is what I'm like, saying. We had. Where was this on CLB? We haven't heard this, him this aggressive since what? Duppy. Nah, he came aggressive. I mean, on CLB, like, he came aggressive on the the the, the not the whatever on Bridal Path, whatever time on oh, Bridal yeah, Path, whatever. He came yeah, hard he, on that. Yeah, he body bottled. But, uh, but like, there's, I'm telling you, there's something different over here. Man. There's something the different. Air. Something in the air on that record. Drake, that bro. Pissed, somebody pissed him off, and I don't know if he Why? went to the studio that night, and he was like, this is what it is, because there's... There's a couple shots. There's a lot of shots in there. Aimed at a specific person. I don't even know if there's shots anymore. Maybe that's just how Drake talks all the time. Like he's always throwing sub subs. Well, Hove, I mean, Hove did, just... Hove did that. Hove, Hove was good for that too. Yeah, facts. facts but facts. It, there's a there's a little disgustedness right. in his tone and his voice and the things <laughs> that he's saying and talking about. I still got to get revenge and. When I see you, I'm going to spin your face. Oh. Um, what do you say? Daytona with bro. the green faces. So yeah. it's like, we know, but I'm like, brother, nah. it's been about three to four years. I don't think I think man. that too, many, that too much time has passed. Drake, and the OG stepped in and said, don't you make no record and yeah. delete the record. Where, he, like, no, hey, no, buddy. No, no, no. Like, that, that's the nah, part that gets me. That. If you announce my child before <laughs> I do, it's be forever. Hey. I mean, I'm, I understand Understood. that, it's but it's just forever. like, but it's like, all right, if, you even know? if it's gonna, if it's, if it's gonna be B forever, like, make it, draw that line in the sand where I know exactly every time something like this happens, we know exactly who you're talking to. We also got to preface does. this with the notion that this song wasn't meant to come out; it was a leak, so maybe he didn't want to leave that. that no, in this there. record was coming out. But <laughs> it was I mean, his trial run. Yeah, like, <laughs> no, that record was coming out. It see, it seemed that a little strategic. Was, it wouldn't, surprise, Why? it wouldn't surprise me if, like, the version that comes out doesn't have those shots in there or whatever. Why? Because, well, well for oh, one, like... why? you mentioned it, man. When Jay Prince came in and, and played big, like, we all saw that. Like, you can't still be sitting here talking about some, yo, I still want my revenge. I'm not letting this go. I'm like, bro, we all saw Jay Prince come down and yeah, pretty much be like, but we also saw, stop like, this now. How, but, we I also mean, saw how... how, how <laughs> It was like a dad. And yeah, the, and no, the kids no, no, no. Exactly, which is which but, is why that part. But it part looked like, like they were like it was like hard. He was with it. The bars are hard, but like I think I think I think from the J Prince standpoint and from and the, the difference between those two situations is one. Um, even Drake said himself that he didn't like 
how he sounded on the record that supposedly was recorded about about right. course, he didn't like the things he was saying he didn't like the things he how he was feeling how the record made him feel right and jay prince i guess heard the record and was like nah you can't do that whatever the, whatever the case was okay what he's doing on this record it's not like it's saying he's saying anything like crazy disrespectful it's mm. just like addressing a situation that Clearly, we all know it's still on his mind. It's it's sometimes that on our like mind that he feels address. like he didn't properly address or whatever the case is. But when a certain amount of time passes, bro, wipe your hands clean, bro. Wipe like if he, like clean, if Ether bro. came out, I mean, if Takeover came out and then Ether Ooh, came speaking out. Speaking of Takeover, we'll talk about we'll that. Talk about yeah, yeah, yeah. If Takeover came out and then four years later we got Ether, it's like. Hey, my nigga, like, yeah, this, shit, this shit is kind of fire, but where was this? Listen. Four years ago. A big thing about Pusha T for a long time, especially with fans, like, oh, my God, Pusha won't let it go. Pusha's obsessed. Mm -hmm. He's always talking to He's always throwing shots at him. You know what I mean? Like, Which he's always done to begin with. Which like, he's always, he's always been a competitive rapper. Which he's always done. And, you know, to be fair, he did say, like, hey, like, at the end of the day, I'm all about like competitiveness and mm. blah blah blah. <sighs> it's been four years, yo. Let's let it go. We all but see these kids. It's been four years in a pandemic, so it's really been two. <laughs> fair. Let's be fair. Fair. They probably it's really the been opportunities two years. to run it's into like, each other have probably shortened up yeah, since then. It's not, right? It's only been two. I but mean, it's there's, like, there's nothing gonna happen. They run into years. each other. There's nothing gonna happen. No, I'm it's just not, saying. It's not, I don't think it's. I'm that. just like I'm. I, I love. I love. I love when Drake season starts to creep around again, man. I almost anticipate it's Drake. Early. Drake I like, season is. I like Drake, Drake season more than like the album sometimes. <laughs> Drake like, season are too fucking close together. What? Like when Drake like starts to you know when he starts like, to ramp like it up. Yeah, I'm just like, bro, like go away. Like we we had this discussion. Mm. Go the fuck away for a minute. I thought he about won't. that for a minute. He won't. I thought about that for a minute. I didn't like it. it. You didn't I like him like going it. away. I don't like it. He's Why? like gambling and opening up like trading cards. <laughs> I'm like, bro, I'm like, I'm like nah, I get back in the booth. I can't see this though. He's in there picking out like Jordan cards. I'm just like, summer's coming. I'm like, you are so are rich you? and bored. Get your ass back in the studio. There, no, but see, like, there's a, there was a line on the record. He said, he's like, I'm rapping about shit people can't relate to. Yeah, he I said, fit. I'm so. He said, I'm so rich or some shit like that. I didn't like that because remember when we were talking about how certain rappers grow and yeah. you grow with them. Right. It's like he's leaving us behind. <laughs> Where was the part where we were with you, Jay? But I get it. Right. I, get I, mean, it. I, I mean, I get the lifestyle, the he's, things he's, he's done. Us I mean, I get it, but it's just like sometimes I'd rather him talk I, about that than pretending like people are still all against them and it's me and my people against the world. Like, oh, he's talking like no that in that record, friends. too. I'm like, my nigga, you got all the new friends. <laughs> are you kidding me? When no, I'm rich you know anybody in the video. He's talking like that, too. Like, he still has those personal experiences. Yeah. And it's like, I get it, but sometimes they're repetitive. And I think sometimes going away, living life, just being out of the the way gives you different perspectives. I don't want to hear a nigga say, yo, I'm getting, I'm so rich, I got, I'm rapping about shit people can't relate to. I get it, but don't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't say it outright to my face. Like, yes, rhyme about we Bugattis, know. rhyme about fucking Rolexes and we know, 30 room mansions. Don't tell me listen to I my face. Don't and yo, me. And like, don't remind me every time I gotta hear this shit all the time when <laughs> I listen to the record. Now you bully And now it's fire. That's crazy. Now like, now you to my, bully now me. Listen like, to my bully. Come That's on, crazy. man. Don't bully me, bro. That's like, up, I get it. I get it. That the world's against you, but my <laughs> let nigga. Let me start my morning. You don't gotta take it out on me. Like, let me start my morning listening to some Drake and yeah. just hearing yo, about myself. Yo, as soon as I get up, a nigga telling me, yeah, you can't relate to this, nigga. I'm we like, know, yeah. We know. And my day is going to be Should great I now. Leave the house? <laughs> Let Fuck. me just stay in bed. Yo, and, <laughs> and biggest point, lowest the keys, <laughs> I like not relating to him. I like living by carrots and doing the rich life I get it. Dude, I right? get it. Don't like, tell me verbatim. But let me tell you something. That's all I'm saying. Let me tell you something. All you got to do is rap. We know. When no. I'm riding around in my 2017, <laughs> my 2017 E class, it, it for sure feel well, like now you looking down on people like nah, you can't relate to no, me. No, my shit is twenty seven. It, it makes me feel like I'm in whatever super rich car he's talking about. <laughs> no, or, Ross does that like, better. That Ross does that way better. I, lo I love. See, not like, relating. Yeah, see, no, I don't want to relate. Twenty seventeen E class turns into a G wagon. <laughs> Fast, <laughs> no. immediately. As soon as listen, I turn, yo, at the bar rises hit, up and shit. Cas looking down. At no, but look, the no, 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 see, no, no, no. Shit. Oh, listen, yeah. listen, no, listen, listen. I get what you're saying, but Ross, uh, Ross is is very in that kind of execution. Right. Ross is top tier. Oh, for sure. He's right? the king of the luxury ball. Ross never makes me feel 
like I'm broke. Ross number makes me feel I like mean, no, 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 no. Here's here's the difference. Here's the difference. <laughs> Ross voice makes me feel like I'm Ross broke. will make you feel like tomorrow is the day you're that gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna move into that big ass mansion yeah. and have a driver waiting outside your apartment. Ross will make you feel like it's right there. Uh. Drake will make you feel like you will never get this. <laughs> Cause this you is won't. not attainable. Because you won't, honestly. And I know I won't, but don't you, tell me. Yo, Make honestly, me feel bro, like I, I can do it. Make me, tell me I, I could be the president one day. Tell me tell I can do it. Don't tell little kids you're don't, never be the president. Don't ever. laugh at me and just toss my cup over like, idiots, you're not going to be rich ever. <laughs> and I'm going to rap about this every time I get a chance. <laughs> like, and every damn, time I see you, i It's I'll like, damn, buddy. <laughs> Like, don't, I don't want to start my day like this. I'll be honest, though, bro. <laughs> I can't start like, my day with Drake. I can't start my I'm day with sorry. Drake, bro. Drake, because if you start your day with Drake, you either feel broke, sad, you're going to text an ex. Mm -hmm. Like, you just don't know what mood you're in. Or question your friend's motives. Like, yo, dude, does Kaz and Rosie like, no, really fuck me. with you? Yeah. <laughs> Is there a reason why I wasn't on the show last week? There are three ways you can start your morning by listening to Drake. Feeling broke. Feeling bro. very, very sad. Can't trust nobody. Can't, Can't trust, trust nobody. nobody. I'm like, yo, bro. So why leave your house? Drake makes you not want to leave the house. Yeah, like Ross makes me feel like my <laughs> niggas are millionaires. We're all family. We got it from the mud. Yeah. I'm like, Drake, open a Drake. spot. Like, I can open a chicken spot and just still, come on, make me feel like that. Damn. So Ross, you, you a master you at creating a false reality. Bro, Ross is really good at creating a false reality for his listener. Man, Drake makes me like, he... I forgot my train of thought. What's, what's, a, what's a Drake song you could start your day with? <laughs> the one he just, just dropped. One. The way he just no, dropped. I'm not trying to start my day with that. I can, bro. I <laughs> like, like that's, that's, too Drake Drake that's too aggressive. Like, bro. Bro. That's too aggressive. That's the type of Drake I like. The Drake, bro, like wanna... the rich, the rich Drake bars. Like Drake only make being rich and famous sound good sometimes. <laughs> like, Yo, honestly, he doesn't. Not, he doesn't make that shit sound. It, it makes appealing. It sound, he makes it sound like very like low key unappealing. It's it's like damn, like you I really. Like I could only listen living to like party Drake. Like, but, yeah, I'm like, nigga, you did, like, you sacrificed like all. You seen that, uh, that, that meme going around this week? I hope this summer feels like a summer. 26, a 2016 uh, Drake yes, song. I agree. Controller specifically. Not with him podcast. being this angry. Man, listen, <laughs> summer 16 Drake was. <laughs> if the nigga's this angry, no, it was. No, I'm like just the, saying. Like if he's rapping like. You need to get down, I'm, I'm, down, I'm down, cool down, down. Like the, well, that's, Were that's, you? Yeah, I was cool. Stop lying. I'm not. Summer 16 Drake. No, you're talking about One Dance, Controller, Hotline Bling. Mm -hmm. Those three. No, Hotline Bling. I fuck with Hotline oh, Bling. Those like three me. neutron bombs that summer. Are you kidding me? You need to like you those songs. You used to call you know me why? I need. I don't need yeah, to Yeah, I'm going to tell shit. you why. Because you used to, there's you not used one place you're going to be at where they play that and all, every girl in the world. Oh, nigga. Play, yo, when that record comes on, I already you know what the vibe call is. Me myself, I get it, but I'm Hotline <laughs> Bling is such a funny record. That wasn't the dance. It was like this. I love now. Hotline I don't care. I'm just doing this. I loved Hotline Bling. But no, nah, yeah, I'm just like, for personal oh, reasons, I don't... Oh, Summer 16. Oh, Summer 16. That Listen, hard. They're not me. I remember I got that record Come on. too. Look, I'm looking. I remember, yeah. I remember looking that. for that's the only. That's the only drink I could wake up to. That's... that's like I, could wake, I could wake up to... Like, Blem, like, One Dance, like, shit like that. Or, or I could wake like up to Worst Behavior. Nah. That, I could do that I too on, on a Friday work. morning. Yeah, I could. Worst behavior is, is is I can ride out to that. That's wild, bro. Like what? Drake is almost like motherfucker never loved us, you. But almost. again, almost. But again, <laughs> motherfuckers never loved us. <laughs> like, bro, there's again, a lot of love in the world. Like, look at me again. It's look a lot me. of love in the world, bro. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> this nigga always looking over his shoulder. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Who's coming? Who is it? <laughs> Who are you hiding from? Who are you running from? We don't know. Stop running from your friends. Enemies. He got enemies. He <laughs> got running from his enemies. friends. Do I, should, do, I, do I trust you guys? He like, got nigga. enemies. Uh, and it's the enemies. funny thing is, like, he'll mention shit like that in, mean, like, a lot of these songs and, and still be around these niggas. It's like, yo, bro, you just rapped about me not trusting you. But we don't know that, though. Like, I know, you don't I know. know. I'm, I'm just, just you, don't know, you don't know what that conversation is like. Like, imagine, like, no, you no, with I, Drake all weekend long. And the, I'm having mad fun, Drake paying for everything, partying, all the women there, nah, yeah, no, no, having no, no. a time of your life in the mansion. Drake like, all right, I'll be right back. I'm going to go in the booth. I'm going to go knock this out right there. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, know, and like, I got enemies. Got, got a lot of enemies. enemies. <laughs> got a lot of people trying to drain me on my energy, trying try to, to get, get away <laughs> from these niggas. <laughs> and, then, like, and then comes back out, <laughs> and like, gives it to the DJ. <laughs> and like, are you talking about <laughs> us? <laughs> 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 
<laughs> like, are you are you literally talking nah, about nah. us? I just it's a dope track, right? What the fuck? Like, 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 you, are you literally us though? Nigga nah, dabbing nah, them up like, yo, y'all gonna love this shit. It's like, nigga, no, we won't. No, I mean it's just art, you know, just expressing. What's the next one? Motherfuckers never loved us. I'm like, nigga, you know art imitates life, right? Like don't don't play it in my face. But no, like, oh, but like, I, but I, I mean, Drake, do you want us to go? Like, yeah, you, like, my nigga, we can leave. I mean, I don't know. I don't want us to overstay our welcome. You feel <laughs> me? Like, if you want us to leave, like, no, nah, but man, it's cool. I feel like, like we're the only ones around. Have some Chardonnay. Has some, no, no it, it's, it's we. I get it. Like, you know, and this is just like just jokes, whatever. But no, when 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 you do listen to to Drake, you do feel like there's, there's three moods. Yeah, there's like there's certain yeah. moods, but yeah. I think. It's a testament to his greatness, though, that, like, you got he, so he, he many can yeah, he can Drake it. moods he could go through. Like like yeah. I said in the beginning of this conversation, my favorite Drake is, like, Drake season. Like, when he just starts dropping, like, little verses here and there. Like, right, right around right. now. Like, even that Summer 16 that we were talking That's about. That's my like, favorite Drake. I mean, Views was cool, I like but it really was like those records that he was, you know, hopping on that really owned that summer. And I think now maybe we're starting to... No, no, he's not. If it's, you had to pick too, a Drake, too, though, a Drake too, mood. A Drake? What, well, what are the moods? We already said them. There's plenty of them. The main mood is the paranoia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's the main mood that we've addressed. It's real though, man. Like it's it's I it's, get it. And I'm not making fun of that because being a person of his stature and what he has. Yeah, I'm paranoid now. That I'm not even from what, <laughs> nigga? Ain't nobody after you. <laughs> you don't know that. <laughs> looking for me. Nigga on a, nigga on a nationally <laughs> oh, televised show talking oh, about niggas looking for me. Nigga. Listen, bro. If niggas is looking for you, they know where to find you. At Madison like, Square Garden. Like, like you're not low. No, I feel like I you like sad Drake. Niggas, bro. No, I don't like sad Really? I don't. I, mm -mm. I feel like you like emo Drake. Because if I get if I get in that kind of mindset and I get into that mode, then I it like it's Kaz. Fucking, you, no one's coming for you, bro. Like, and you're you're six foot what four? You stand out like a fucking thorn. I got enemies. Got a and lot of enemies. And you named all your jobs. Like, imagine you like you he looks just like a, like a big ass cloud. Like Gotta he's just a walking away cloud. Away from the news. <laughs> so no, I don't. I don't like. Nah, I need my revenge, low. Yo, we're from from what? what? I need my revenge. <laughs> He be having his Drake moments, though. He be having his Drake moments. We all have Drake moments, bro. That's yeah. what he makes so, him so he great. He has so many. That's what makes him so great. Everyone has Paranoia, women, sad. women have Drake moments. Men have Drake moments. Tough so guys Drake have Drake has Drake never moments, made you, like, want to text, text an ex? Nigga, the morning fucking Marvel's Room came out, I oh texted my, my ex. God. That shit was at 5 a.m. <laughs> uh. I was bugging, bro. Oh, saying, my God. I was going through. Bro, was as I'm mess. listening to the record, I'm like, yo, you up? down. I'm like, yo, you up? Yo. She was like, what? Yo. I'm just like, yo, a new Drake record dropping and reminding me of you. She's like, get off my yo. phone. Yo. She's like, get off my phone. Y'all don't understand, Never bro. If I text yo at 5 a.m., they're going to be like, no, Rosie. Y'all don't understand, no. bro. Marvin's room dropped during the wild west of Twitter, right? Like when nobody had any cooth or anything, right? So it wasn't just... You going through your emotions when Marvin Dream came we out. All went to it through the whole timeline's like, fuck that nigga. You wish you had. And it's just like, yo. Man, I, I, I it was it was a dark, dark time. But I love Marvin the way the, that that record started. Hello, are you drunk? I'm like, yes, he is. Yeah. Of course he's drunk. Damn, Low, you're just gonna. All right, bye, Low. All right. Thank you. Well, you know, we'll wait. No, it's okay. We'll wait. <laughs> Speaking of Marvin's room, it's all right. Talking about you know, be good. You are you are you settled in? Thanks. Yeah, I mean, I should be able to do this since y'all did the show without me last week. So Dude, me... we tried. You need an excuse to drink liquor while we do the podcast. Yes. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the same thing we do all the time. <laughs> we, <laughs> we tried to wait. Oh, no. uh, yeah, anyway, uh, my my do I have my Drake mood is he's very condescending. I'm the I, I like Jamaican Drake. Jamaican Drake is the that's my, top that's my tier. Drake move. Oh. Top tier. I like Jamaican Drake. Drake yeah. Yeah. I like Time Tower Drake. Everyone likes Time Tower Drake. That's I like fine. that. Which one is that? So like nine a.m. in Dallas, something mm. Toronto. Yeah. I like that's. I, mm, I like that. Yeah. It's, I it's, that's, it's, that's it's like a. Skis. It's like a vibe though. It's just like a, like. I like the records where he just goes like the. Fear. I just like when he like, raps, like, bro. Put and your anytime, window down and vibe and drive yeah, like yeah. that. I just, then I just depressed. I really. I mean, <laughs> eventually. <laughs> then become depressed. drive off the cliff. No, I'm kidding. I like <laughs> all the Drake moods. I just really, really wish he would just like rap for like ten records. Like I really wish he would do what he did on this Jack Harlow leak, just for like he'll never he'll and never, he'll never, he'll never do, do it. it. 
He'll, He'll never, never do it. it. It's just and it's like, like and it's, cool. it's almost it's like fine. trying to get LeBron to do the dunk contest at this point. It's like <laughs> he's I mean, been at begging that, him for yeah. years. He's never going to do at it. At this point, I'm cool. Like I know who to go to for the rap for the, yeah. the, the filthy bars, and you know, I I know who to go to for that. Unfortunately, he's not in the top five. Where I'm like, yo, if I want to hear some, I want to hear a nigga bar nigga up. Speaking the of whack, the, the whack shit is, he's gonna do that like ten years too late. He's gonna drop an album. Well, shit, like, Hope is still doing it at fifty four. So, oh yeah, he's gonna drop one day. Like when he's like forty something years old, he's gonna be like, "Yo, this album's gonna be number bars." He's gonna be like, "Damn, nigga, finally," <laughs> you know. They're gonna be listening to Quincy Jones, and I'm like, "All right, Drake." Now he comes with bars. Like, bro, I'm nah. listening to jazz right now. Like, I'm <laughs> you're, gonna, you're gonna listen to jazz when you get older. What the fuck is wrong with that? No, I'm gonna listen to Save Show. Let's do right now. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Really? You think, yeah, I definitely you're gonna, don't think that's you're true. You're gonna grow into old nigga music when you're. Yes. But it's not your old nigga music. Bro, nigga, I'm not trying to listen to Migos. <laughs> <laughs> Those are other old people's music. <laughs> Ain't nobody listening to Migos like when I'm like. I'm for sure I'm listening to, I'm to the Migos. Like old, you I'll listen to it at a probably like a cookout or something, but I'm yeah, not gonna put Migos on. I'm not gonna put not, Migos bro, on. Bro, I am not. No, I'm not gonna be 60 to talk about Raindrop. Right. Yeah, I am. Are you kidding me? That's the that's nigga. the most lit part of getting old. <laughs> nigga, the those, those, those records are not following me into They're my not gonna <laughs> They are one. <laughs> nigga, I'm cutting that shit off I at, at a certain point. <laughs> Listen. You bugging. I will be able to recite Versace remix. I'm not I'm saying seven we can't. No, no, no. Old, bro. So you're, you're misconstruing what I'm saying. I'm not saying well, we won't know the records. So, so what do you think happens? You think you just turn... You, no, you start listening to You start listening shit. to other shit. You think you just turn your 50 and all of a sudden it's like, all right, time for jazz. <laughs> your ear evolves. Yeah. Like, you know, your experiences evolve, and it's like we how how much longer can I listen to it? I'm gonna listen to rap my whole life, bro. See, no, I'm gonna listen to rap my whole life too. But other shit will other be rap. in the rotation. I guess. What do you guess? I guess, guess. I just I can appreciate jazz, but like I I appreciate no. classical older music. I can appreciate some soul, like the same stuff I listen I was, to now. Yeah, bro, I'm, but I'm not like, gonna go I feel and like, like you'll add more of that though. Though you're gonna add more to your you're gonna palette. be putting more R and B in there. You're gonna be putting and you got a daughter, so you don't want a lot of that shit more, playing in the house you're either. You gonna walk around the crib two stepping? Listen, yeah, that's what you're gonna be doing, my nigga. Like I'm not trying to listen to fucking. Even though I probably will listen to Jeezy. You damn sure you listen to Jeezy now. Oh. That's what I'm saying. I'm 39, nigga. I'm not 63. <laughs> exactly. The, the, the Jeezy you listened to was like 10, 15 year old records. Yeah, but those are right. So it's 15, 10 years from now? Well, I, I grew up with Jeezy. Exactly. I mean, I exactly. Well, All the more I, reason. No, no, I understand that. But those things become way more aggressive as we get older. It's just like, damn, okay, I don't really want to hear this. Nah, I'm, not, I'm not trying to be on the block. Yeah, I'm like my 60. nigga, like I'm <laughs> not. Y'all tripping? I listen, can't. Listen I can't in. wait to be the old nigga to be like in First the club. Yeah, I'm gonna stack my dough. And then, <laughs> yo, <laughs> y'all know nothing about this here, young fella. <laughs> y'all know nothing about this, young Jesus. That's the nigga, yo. That's the nigga I don't want to be. That's the nigga I don't want to be. You an OG? You supposed to? Yo, put... Ruby's gonna be like, that's, my dad yeah, said dough. Yeah, that's the nigga I don't. What the fuck is that? What is dough? I do not want to be. I'm not ready for her to talk about that. like, oh my god. My dad. My dad wasn't. That guy, either. you gonna be in the basement. She gonna close the door. Like, I'm sorry, guys. Sorry, he's yeah, such, I don't a, wanna, I'm not such an embarrassment. <laughs> Gosh, jazz in the background, like. Well, jazz, well, jazz got an old soul, so she gonna be listening to old shit too. But you know, like I'll be listening. I'm like my, my kids gonna listen. I'm gonna listen to Mac Miller. I'm gonna listen to Nip. I'm gonna listen to Chance. Oh, all right, Drake, those artists. Those artists aren't like it's not a Kendrick it's not Wale an aggressive tone or sound with those. Artists. Isn't he supposed to be coming out with something? Kendrick? Yeah. I don't know. We, who nobody knows with Kendrick, he's Mr. Mystery. Like um, yeah, I'm, I'm not, I'm not that, I'm not that old nigga that's, yo, know, back in my nigga, no, yeah, back in my day we was cool. Be. We y'all have fun. Be. I feel like back we in my day be. was cool. Y'all have fun. Now. I have a hard time believing that at one point Lowe's just gonna turn into you make me feel like where <laughs> I've been. I don't understand what's wrong with that. <laughs> hey. Like you, you the type of nigga that don't want to lose your youth. Like you won't accept me. growing up. <laughs> You the type of niggas like but you I know what? But I listen to that kind of stuff now. Yeah, so do I. That's something like I don't understand why it's so wrong when it's like I'm gonna just be listening to that shit way more. You stop singing when I'm trying to make a point. Bro. I got it. Oh, no. 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 <laughs> Can't wait to be an old nigga playing nip. Um, man. Speaking of old niggas, uh, <laughs> yo. What? Did you see that whole video from Summer Jam 2001 yes. that dropped? Holy shit. 
it is it takes a lot for me to get excited about <laughs> stuff on the internet lately. Uh, but that's one thing we can all universally agree was just like a really dope holy grail that we've all found, yeah. right? Like I felt like for years we just kind of like heard the the K Slay version of the original takeover. Mm. And seeing just like that weird picture of Michael Jackson backstage at Nassau Coliseum. Nobody ever yeah. saw him actually walk out to the stage. Um, that video just, I wish every young rapper would watch that video. They probably did. Why? I wish every young rapper would watch that video. Why? You got to remember, let's set the scene, right? We all are of age to know that TakeOver is one of the biggest diss records of all time. That that that, that, that video. One of them, do, yes. That, that video is, will never do anything for the young niggas. But here's Why? the thing. No, no, no. Listen, listen. I, I, th I think they got to see it like this, right? That was a song that wasn't even out yet. Like, that song was a record that was going to drop on an album. Maybe that was two weeks away from coming out or something like that. And the only thing you heard about the Mob Deep Nas hold this is was like stuff on the K Slay tape, little shots here, the Nas Street Super Freestyle, just throwing little darts here. So when you watch that video and Hove is performing the performance track, not rapping over his vocals like a lot of you young like to do. And a lot of old niggas do it too, but a lot, a lot of old niggas do it too. But uh, this is, <laughs> but this is know, I'm just saying, a lot of old niggas do it too. <laughs> this no, is, why he just you gotta understand, you. <laughs> at 2001, this is like Hove, really, in my opinion, like entering his like the beginning of his prime to me, right? Like everybody kind of knew, you know, since Reasonable Doubt. He had some good albums. He had the Dynasty that came out. Rockefeller was coming up. The Blueprint wasn't really like, if I remember correctly, my memory serves me correctly, Blueprint wasn't really a heavily promoted thing yet it was. at that moment. Was Izzo out? Izzo was, I don't think Izzo was out yet. Mm. I'm not sure if Izzo was out this yet. Was, I this might be was, wrong. This was, this was before the VMAs. He performed at the VMAs. He opened the VMAs, actually. So he opened. So he did the BET Awards and performed Izzo for the first time. And then did, and if I remember, and then BET did, Awards oh, in like remember. July. Damn. And then, Why do and I remember then did that? the VMAs. So no, Blueprint was heavily pushed when it, when it dropped. Unfortunately, dropped on 9 11. Right, right, right. Okay, mm -hmm. boom. That's even what though, it it, but even though that, I'm didn't trying to care. remember, like, I had every source mag, I had every double XL, and I'm just trying to remember, like, blueprint ads. And I'm like, I remember seeing I remember them, the blueprint, but, they were, they were actually, they were blue with white, uh, white font. Right. I remember those. Right. I remember those too. All I'm saying, I say all that to say, like, that crowd reacted to that song, like, that song that been out for 30 years already. You know what I'm saying? Like, by the time he said, yo, you little fuck, I got money stacks bigger than you. When I was moving way back in 88, you was a ballerina. I got the pictures I they seen won't, you. But see, we see, like, they don't. <laughs> and then he pointed to the picture. They don't, they won't, <laughs> they won't, like, a lot of younger, a lot of younger artists and young niggas won't really know what that moment was because it, they, they didn't live it. Like, we sat you in You gotta that, think pre-internet for folks. I understand that. That's right. why, but we knew we knew what that was. Back, like, now somebody, this is somebody on stage, there's a million people with a million cameras, and that shit is out before. Right, no, and that's what, that's, what made it, but that's what made it so special because right. it was word of mouth, because we saw the pic, the picture of, of Hove and Michael Jackson and Dame It's been word of mouth for 22 years up until it, this past week. <laughs> right, but we knew everything surrounding that moment. Yeah. We knew the different elements. These young niggas, some of them who do their history homework probably know the same shit that we, but we lived through that. Right. That hit us. We were just like, yo, what the fuck? Of course. And I'm and I'm not I'm not I'm not saying uh, every young dude needs to watch that because of the cultural significance. I'm just saying just Hove as a performer at that age the way he was controlling the crowd with his lyrics and the way he was controlling the well, crowd. Well, yeah, when you dissing a nigga and you got, when once you start that record, the way you start that record, right. you got niggas' attention. Right, right. You know what I'm saying? So, and especially him doing certain parts of that record a cappella. Mm -hmm. So the important parts of that record are during the a cappella part. So you, you're hearing right. exactly who he's talking to and who he's talking about, and then the picture comes up. And then that's that's the moment where it's just like, where the fuck did this come from? What 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 I really am impressed. What by, picture they use? It was and, uh, Prodigy. Prodigy and the hitting the Michael Jackson uh, yeah, he was a toe dancer. kick. He was a dancer. He was a, he went to a dance school when he was right. Well, what, what makes it really dope is is kind of looking back and seeing Petty Hove, 
I don't think we, a lot of us get to see Petty Hove no more. Was way more petty as he got an older. Yeah, but not in the sense of like how rappers act, like rapper antics. Like he's petty in the sense of like probably like the way he like answers a question during an interview or like, you know, no, the niggas says petty a, a lyric in his bit. But right. But like even then, his this is now are so fucking layered or so like. It's almost like it's beneath him to like diss rappers at this point. You feel me? Like I, it was the niggas dissing a comedian. That's petty <laughs> as shit. <laughs> what comedian? Oh, yeah. Phase on love. You didn't? Did you listen oh, to the? Yeah, that's a. But that's an old. That's what no. I, but see, you're missing my point. That's how petty he is. Like that shit happened. Like Phase on said that shit a long time ago. Right. And now you're addressing that shit in 2022. Right. Yeah. And the he way he said it, he remembered. The way he said it mm. was petty as fuck. Right. So that's why I'm like that. He didn't lose that. It just got. A little deeper. It got a I'm little more. I'm um, in the sense of <laughs> last of, year. Yeah, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. In the sense of like petty it's rapper antics, petty, like really not petty. just not just the bar, but like going. Uh, I'm sure the hoops he had to jump through to even get that photo, had that photo in hand for a long time. Yeah. Not write a lyric, but you know, put a lyric down saying you was a ballerina. I got the pictures. I seen you. Debut that shit at Summer Jam, knowing everyone's gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? Like that whole that pet like the pettiness of like today's rapper, right? Like, that's I feel that, that's like, strategy. No, I feel like, you know, like I think it's dope to see him like that because, you know, sometimes people look at, you know, what like Youngboy or Dirk or like these other rappers are doing when they're going back and forth with each other. Obviously it's a lot more, you that's know, that's not petty, that's serious. That's dangerous shit. Exactly. It's a lot more serious in the sense that like people are getting like, you know, this violence over it. But in the in the rap sense, Sometimes you just got to shut the hell up and just like let kids be kids and let them because you never know what they're going to grow into eventually. You feel me? Like you never know what, you know. Wait, what do you mean? Uh, so look at Hove now. Okay. Like Hove is a fucking billionaire. Like he's damn near like a, a DD to most people. You know what I'm saying? Like right. he's and there was a time back then. Where he was just a rapper trying to prove to everyone he was better than everybody, prove that he was number one. So that's what you that mean by like that. kids be kids. Like kids be kids, man. Like sometimes you gotta go at people. Like I'm pretty sometimes. Sure. When, How old was Hov when that happened? I mean, he was oh, a pretty much a grown man, but I'm like saying at that time. <laughs> 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 Do you understand the point I'm trying <laughs> to make? Nigga, the kid back then. <laughs> <laughs> he was our age now. That nigga's <laughs> our age now when he was doing that so shit. So like kids be kids. Uh, he was being a, Hove, a grown Betty ass man. Compared a thirty-five year old Hove to like a nineteen year old NBA young boy, like bro, that gap is very long. Very long. You gotta let kids be kids. I get no, what you're saying. That bad. was just a bad example. I don't think it was a bad example at all. Actually, I think I, I think I made no, a pretty. No, because you were saying I, think I made a pretty valid point about. You may know. You, you, sometimes you gotta dis. No, your no, no, <laughs> like, your word your wording was off, but the message was received. Because you said, yeah, because you're saying Hove was a kid when he did that. Clearly, he wasn't. Right. He was a, a middle aged man. These years. He was niggas, a middle aged in 2000. Bro, the nigga was like 30 something. He was 26 in, in 96. Well, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, no, he what was, nigga. Is, but he was 31. It, what I'm saying he's is. He's in his 30s. <laughs> he wasn't a kid. All right, my fault. I haven't been here in a week, so I got some shit off my chest. Right, I just, yeah, I'm just trying to make a point here. Uh, no, you, you made, no, you you made your point. You made the semantics point, of things. I'm like, hey. Oh, hold a kid. Nigga was 32. Point made. What's next? <laughs> no, no, no. No, I understand you got to say, you, you saying let kids be kids, right? I get that. But clearly I'm not calling I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. I'm saying, saying when, you compete, when it comes to rap, when it comes to competition, let niggas do what they sometimes do. Sometimes you just got to let, like, it's just, motherfuckers it's, get their shit off, man. It's like, different for us. As long as nobody gets violent, as long as nobody gets shot, that's nobody what gets that, beat But that's up. what it is now. Of course. Unfortunately, of course. that's what it is. But that's why I say I wish every person watched that video and see what it was then. Granted, I'm pretty sure there was some fist fights that, blew, that went down between like people and people's crews. But, you know, we didn't hear anything about like artists getting shot, killed, any of that type of stuff. All I'm saying is the spirit of competition lives so deep in somebody that is widely regarded as the greatest of all time. Right. Young artists should see that's how you do it. You can keep it music. You can keep it to a point where I could, like, he showed him, he had a picture of him fucking embarrassed himself. I'm granted now it's 2022. You got pictures of people since when they were, like, six years old to now. You feel me? So, like, it's not hard to... Find a photo that's a little bit embarrassing to somebody. But back then, you had to go through quite a bit of trouble to go and find a photo like that. I mean, and well, I mean Push did it to On Drake. stage. Well, yeah, it's 20, it was 2016, 15, whatever it was. All I'm saying is, if you're going to diss somebody, 
keep it music, keep it kids, really entertaining. Kids, the kids are getting too embarrassed. They get too embarrassed easily. Egos are are bruised quicker than they were back. The male then. fragility. Because niggas was dissing each other hard and disrespectful when we were like listening to shit and we yes. were like, damn, like this nigga said that. Like if someone A said that today, but that's why I feel like if, if someone says stuff that Nas and Mob Deep and Pac and Biggie and Hove were saying today, niggas will lose their shit, get on IG Live. This nigga talking about coming on the oh, BBC and I nah, we got we got pull up on the ops and this, that and the I mean, I argue they say worse stuff now. Nah, these niggas are fragile now, bro. I'm sorry. I feel like one little diss I, I, niggas I think start it's to personality wise though. Like, I feel like if you're a troll, you don't like if you're 50s a good example. Like, whatever you say about 50, he's just gonna troll you right. back. And I like that. I like those kind but of personalities because he makes it funny. He's petty, but he'll troll you back. But he's out of that. He's also out of that element of competing, right? So there's a certain switch that's turned off with him now that he's kind of removed from what that was when. G unit was coming up when the first album was coming out. Like there, there was a completely different energy than what it is now. Everything right. now is, to him is fun and games. I like that. I think it's funny. It's kind it's of funny. Think, it's funny. It, it might have been. It might have been a little bit of fun and games for him back then too. I think so. It was fun and games on a street level because that's what they did. Yeah. So he just brought that shit over to here. Yeah. Cleaned it up and then pushed it over there to the TV and to the businesses <laughs> and that nigga's still petty. That nigga's still terrorizing people. <laughs> he just does it in a way where it's not violent. Yo, he does terrorize the yeah, fuck the out nigga, of the nigga. The nigga hasn't. He hasn't lost that instinct to <laughs> to fuck with you daily. You know what I mean, like, there's a small list of people I never want to be on there. Bad side, yo. He's, top, he's 50, number 50 one. Is number right. one. Number one. He's, thick, he's right in that mix, yo. Like of like people that aren't like. Who else would you not? I, I think fifty is the one I'd be. But that's the of. thing, though. Like what what speaks to fifty being on that list is like everyone else on that list is like actually powerful people. Like I don't like Putin. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> like you know like Trump. Like if Trump, oh, yeah, yeah, uh, that be. And then fifty's like right under them, dude. <laughs> so I'm just like, yeah. Yeah. Like you're you're domestic terror. Yeah, like you're somebody who's just gonna make <laughs> me, <laughs> me feel bad about myself. These other guys will kill me. You're just gonna make you me feel you terrible. Feel like on the, make me on the no flies are like, bro, I don't even wanna know you exist. Like I'm not that's the wrong person to really like oh. like Jay Prince is there. Like, yeah, don't wanna be at his bad there. side. Jay Prince is definitely there. I think Look, baby's there. The baby? Yeah, baby? baby? I guess. I uh, guess Burtman. Yeah, I'm sure. Oh. I'm sure I'm sure you never wanna be on any 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 Titan, rap, any rap Titans, Titans. <laughs> bad side. Like nigga, we didn't. Hey, I don't want to be on Puff's bad side. You kidding me? I don't want to be on nobody's bad side. Nobody. Guys, you know, Puff's, just, just sleep we love on. everybody Puff, here at St. Louis. Okay. Puff looks like it's, it's he's easy to to be on his off. bad side. Puff looks like it's easy. To I'm thinking about that that meme right now where he's just like staring. Like I look, I feel like Puff gets mad quickly. You know what Puff reminds me of? Puff reminds me of somebody who like he'll get mad for you not seeing the potential of yourself. <laughs> like he'll look at you like you know what I was doing I was 19 years old I was interning here I was doing parties there like yes nigga we, you know, over we, here, know, we know the story like, over here trying to drink some water like, <laughs> you over here crying for no water, water. <laughs> I'm just like I'm like Puff tone it down like I got okay, like, just tone it tone it down Puff. sorry Puff I don't need water I'm good just give it to me I'm good I got this <laughs> just like, yo, give, give it to me in doses like I don't need this <laughs> yo, whole long streak of yelling why are you bench pressing I don't know Puff seems like Puff seems like the type of dude that like yo if you work oh yeah He's a trainer now? Trainer. <laughs> I don't know. He, said, he seems like somebody that would come around my, my, my cubicle if I was working in, at, at Revolt or working at Bad Boy or something. Like, what you doing? It was like, damn, it's 9 o'clock. You're over here talking about you tired. <laughs> like, Pup, it's Christmas Eve. I don't give a fuck about Christmas Eve. <laughs> like, yes, Pup. You got to see my family in the last 15 Christmas like, Eves? No. I heard a story about Why do we, why do we about imitate about Puff talking like a pimp? Like, why? Is that, that's not his voice. Yelled. So I heard, a, I heard an I, actual story about okay. Puff doing something mine similar to this. Mine is for Chappelle. When for he, Chappelle? No, no, no. Mine is uh, when Chappelle did Puff, and that's how he was talking. From making a man. Yeah. So I had I heard a story. This may, may or may not be true, but the person that told me the story is very reputable. So I figured I'd share it, right? There was a time that Puff had, at like his, I don't, I don't know if it was Bad Boy or whatever. It had to be Bad Boy. It was before like Ciroc, before all these type of shit, mm -hmm. right? Had people work until Christmas Day, like late into the day. Super hard, right? Believe it. And then I, I, I think I Puff, already, I definitely believe that shit. I already and then I think it was some holiday. I, don't I know, vote it was true. Christmas, Thanksgiving, whatever, whatever. Then Puff walks in with a big ass mink coat. And a cigar, and walks up to everybody. I guess it was a meeting. Goes everybody in. Knows everybody's been working hella hard all night. Whatever. 
walks in, looks everybody in the face like, and says something along the lines of, I bet y'all all mad as fuck at me right now, huh? So yeah, I bet y'all all real angry that you had to work this hard, right? I'm coming here with a mink coat, doing like this, da 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 da. He's like, you know, I could do this, cause none of you motherfuckers will ever outwork me. It's like y'all over here, so over here crying, da da da, and the third or whatever. It's like, you know what, I had to do this. I did da da da, and he's going down his day and going through everything that he does and how he he's like. You think I sleep? You over here talking about sleep? You know, da, 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 da. He's like, this is my first moment on. So of course I'm a. This is the only time I got. That's why I got my mink coat. That's what I think he was getting. He was getting some fancy shit doing just for. Just to, to exas exacerbate the story a little bit, just imagine like Puff with like a mink coat, people like doing his fingernails, toenails at the same time. Bro, you, see how, you, see, how, you, you see how I'm looking at you? Why? I'll be looking at Puff just like that. Like, Listen. <laughs> I, like, some like, version of that. Five minutes, like, some version of that story like, is like, true. Are you done so we can continue to work <laughs> and continue to get a mink? And get our fucking nails done in front of a meeting? No. Can you shut the fuck yeah. up and leave? And now you just wasted our time. Now you just wasted my time. Now my nigga, I'm going to happy hour. Merry Christmas. <laughs> and you know what? He'll be like, take that, take that. You fired. <laughs> Bro, like, I don't need you to come in here, spin on my fucking taunt, desk. Taunt me. And taunt me. Like, that's not the way to motivate me. Like, that's yeah, I, I am in here and I understand that you I are. I work really, for you. I already I work, admire right. you, sir. <laughs> I, I admire you. Like I already want to be like you. I already want to be there. Work for you. So, like, I don't need you to come Why in here. Here, remind me, Drake, and, Drake and dangle a gold bar that's in my face. And like, I just picked this up from the bank. Like, nigga, I don't give a fuck. Damn, bro. Like, again, stop telling me shit I already know. <laughs> Puff, Drake, Birdman, Hove, stop telling me that I, I'll never achieve it. Don't, be, don't <laughs> stop bullying us through your music. We love you. Stop financially bullying me. <laughs> we love you guys. We love you guys. We got you guys, you guys there. You keep reminding us. <laughs> That will never be you. No, but yeah, I mean, I, Puff, that's, I'm a, that's Puff. I, shout I, out to you. financial bullying. We're going to coin yeah. that, term. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. We're pointing that term. Stop financial bullying. That's what Shit, Drake said. we know. <laughs> nigga, Drake God. had the audacity to say, I'm, I'm rapping about shit niggas can't relate to. No fucking shit, bro. Yeah, bro. The house is like the West Wing. Like, fuck. He's a different level of rich, though, man. So They I all, it. I mean, look, they like, all are. Not, not for nothing, like Rick Ross's level of rich is a little bit more aspirational. Then, yeah, like, I kind of want to own a wing stop and a couple. Uh, yeah, I, that seems attainable. That seems like if, if like things break. I feel a like in a couple way, years, I, I, I could buy a horse. I, I feel like, like okay. I can get to that. If things break <laughs> a certain way and for put me, it where low? Well, you know, <laughs> I didn't get to that part yet. <laughs> in your one I'm just, no, I'm just, I'm just thinking about what's attainable. I'm, now, you're maybe I get a horse land first, bro. <laughs> like you, you got to work yourself you, outwards and then in. You can't bring a horse to Harlem. Well, you, get the, <laughs> you get the land for the horse first. There's then you get the horse. Shit. That's why I don't need to. That, that's why I don't need to listen to rap music because like because of this, this very reason right here. Where are you gonna walk your horse? Niggas don't talk about getting land first. They just show you the horse. We're gonna go up to Ross like yo Ross. Your lyrics really inspired me, bro. I'm by the got me a thoroughbred out back. Got me a thoroughbred. Got me a thoroughbred out back. Where the fuck does it stay at? With me? <laughs> In my one bedroom. <laughs> one. Two bedroom. Nigga <laughs> said with me. I was looking at you crazy. Like, like nigga, that's not what I meant. <laughs> that's all I meant, little nigga. <laughs> that is not saying. what I meant, bro. Oh my god. But I'm like, you got me here. Hey man. This is you. This is you. Uh, this is all you. Shout out to Ross. Oh. I'm a big fan. Shout out to all the rappers financially bullying. So us. Kaz, Thank you. yeah, I told Kaz when I saw him. You see his hat, right? Mm. Lo, do you remember um, when the basketball season first started? Oh. And the Knicks. Were oh, he like, brought that on himself. And the Knicks were like, and I was going to leave it alone. They were like four or five and zero. Oh. Yeah, they were like five. Do you and remember oh. how he came in? I, I really wish we could edit bro, to that part where I think I had like, the same hat on. Ah, you actually you did. Us? I think I had the same exact you actually hat did. on. You actually I would did. love for you guys to see how hyped no, it was. No, you actually and, did. And and I think Lo was like, Lo called this moment. Lo was like, you're going to be sick when the season I'm ends. I'm telling you. I tr and <laughs> I never, like, nah, yo, listen. We 5-0 right now, baby. And I never try to, I never try to, you know, rain on Kaz and Shara because he's so enthusiastic. <laughs> he's so passionate. <laughs> and I didn't want to predict the very moment that has but happened. But you did. <laughs> you he told him that day because he, he was bragging so hard. You were very like, much so. wait till the he, season's I over. I said, I said to him, I said. <laughs> he was so confident. I said, wait till the season's over, Cass. He was like, nah, bro. Bing bong. Bing bong. I'm like, Shh, okay. All right. I'm like, all right. <laughs> nah, you see Obi Toppin. You see Kimball Walker. You see RJ Barrett. Randall's doing his thing. 
And look at the shit show that rolled Why'd through Penn Station. Why you say Bing Bong like that? That's how he said it. He said Bing Bong. Oh, Bing man. Bong. Bing, yo, playoff bound, baby. We playoff bound. Get light. Like. And that train left the station so fucking quick. <laughs> we should go to MSG right now, see if anyone's out there. Oh, ain't nobody out here? Ain't no. nobody. Oh, no game. No Bing Bong? Oh, no oh, game. Oh, no Bing Bong? Crazy. No crazy Nick no fans out there? Walk. No, no, no. no. Nigga got to walk in there every day and remind himself that these niggas suck. So, all right, I tried to done? tell you. Are you huh? done? Are you done? Why is it like a scolded shit? Just like, what's the infamous Cat Williams quote? Shouldn't have been talking shit. <laughs> are you done, bro? Go ahead, my fault. It's the hat that reminded me, because why are you still... Yeah, you should be wearing no Nick's apparel right now. You should be mad at you them. You got to give that a month. Do you ever get mad? Give that a month, brother. Do you ever get mad at them? Of course you get mad. That's, it's like his favorite ex-girlfriend. Of course you get like, mad, <laughs> like, get mad at her. No, I'm Look loyal. Look what she just did. I'm a loyal man. <laughs> no, it, it's listen, it's fine. The dedication you have to that team is very It fine. makes... It's very uh, well, Here's the thing. Here's the thing. No, it's, it, no, it's admirable. It's toxic. No, no, no. No, no it's no, admirable. No. They're not doing shit for him. I, I sh- they got him a job. It's, it's, a, it's, a, very, mean, it's a very weird week <laughs> for sports fans right now. It's a what? Especially, it's a very weird week for sports oh, fans yeah, yeah, right now, especially... If you're an NBA fan, because it's that first week where your team isn't playing no more, and you're watching these playing tournaments, and you're watching the playoffs. Niggas couldn't even get to the playoffs. Everyone's tournament. having a good old time. It's great for everybody. Couldn't even be number ten. But yo, Man. let me tell you something. Number nine couldn't even nine seed. Lakers fans too going through it. Also, DC Wizards, the Wizards there as well. Don't call out for help. Yeah, don't, yeah, don't call out for other team, <laughs> other fans, nigga. You better own out. your shit. Don't call call everybody on the couch. Own your shit. 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 I mean, well, Nick's colors. Oh, it's, my it's, give, size. it's my Chucky Finster. It, it's giving. What well, is orange and blue? Damn, it is giving. It is giving Nick's. <laughs> I didn't even notice. You got PTSD. <laughs> PTSD. Here's the thing, though. Here's oh, my thing. God. Right. What's your thing? God. Hey, y'all. When you open a crispy chicken sandwich bag, the steam that comes out is the best surprise. All right. There's so many things to love about the McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich is the best place to get one, whether it's the buttery bun, or it's the crispy crumbs, whether it's the juicy, tender tastiness of the McDonald's crispy chicken sandwich. Make sure you use the McDonald's app and get one today. McDonald's, I'm loving it. Those mm-hmm. sports fans going through it right now, first week, Yourself. You know, mm-hmm. whatever, I know you right? Can. Like, how do people who team hop live with themselves, though? That's what I want to know. Are they team hoppers or are they players? That was fans? a good. All right, first off, hold on. Still, before. how do people that are just fans of players, like, hold how, on, do, hold how on. do you even thoroughly enjoy. Before you answer that, Rose. Like, everyone's always asking me, like, oh my God, how can you just you, be such a Nick? Hold on, okay, The wait, Knicks wait, wait. always you disappoint you and blah, 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 blah. That's this, a, that, 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 was, that was one that was a great. Deflection. I'm not pivot. deflecting. Right. That was a no, great. Like, you did I that very well. I am not deflecting. I want to know because now you're, you're pulling people into the conversation that have that nothing, nothing to, to do, do with, with no, anything. They have everything to do with it because no. everyone always. Why looks are you at poking me. at them? Like everyone looks at me like, oh my god, Kaz, you go so hard for the Knicks, well, and oh my god, yeah. Knicks just disappoint you. Da, da, da. I'm like, yeah, that's called being a fan, bro. That's called being a fan. That's called so you can't get mad at when people. You can't get mad at people when they poke at you, though. Not at all. You know why? And that's why I didn't get. This is a perfect segue. This is why I did not get mad at. Uh, the Minnesota Timberwolves fans for celebrating hella hard, going extra hard on they celebrate. Celebrate like that every effing time, there's, uh, bro. There's, there's two sides to that pillow. Let me tell you something. There's two sides to that pillow. How, how so? Two sides to the pillow. First side is Pat Bev got traded from the L.A. Clippers. Right. So I understand his excitement. 1,000%. I understand his enthusiasm. 1,000%. every right to do that. Yes. Cool. The other side of the pillow is act like you've won before. But here's the thing. They haven't. That's the whole point. Everyone's saying, like, act like you've been there before. Yeah, like, act like it. you won there. Like, they have not. These are I Minnesota, can't. The Minnesota they Timberwolves been won like 21 games last year. They were one of the five worst teams in basketball. Pat Bev goes over there. And Edwards gets another year under his belt. Carl Anthony Towns stays healthy. D'Angelo Russell looks pretty good. They win 40-something games this year. And they beat a team that had, like, the heart and soul of your team and put them on the brink of not even making the playoffs. 
And Minnesota don't got shit else. Of course you gonna celebrate. I'm not, yo. Listen, I'm not. I, I I don't have. As a Knicks fan, you ain't gonna. You ain't, I'm never gonna celebrate shame anybody. Be a fan, bro. If that's your team, I'm not. That's what you going I'm hard not, for. I'm not, I'm not mad at it. But you can't. You can't get upset when when people express like, all right, they going a little too hard. Like I, I, I get. I get. I I'll get take why. It. I will take no, I will I, take this misery to feel what I felt on game one again times ten. I will take it every single time. There's, there's I'll you, take it every time. You know, you know that the, the, the ceiling has capped for first round for you. Like that's all y'all y'all will never You don't know that. that. Y'all will never You don't know that. I just want to know. You know that. How? Grizzlies are top two seed this year. Y'all know that. You don't know what you don't know who's gonna be the where. Knicks front office is too discombobulated. The Phoenix, the Phoenix like, Suns missed the playoffs two years ago, and they are Finals favorite. Okay. You do not know that, and that's why you are a fan. If you're a fan, you ride with your team through good, through bad, yeah, but through indifference. How do you watch a game? All that shit that makes no difference. Like the last Knicks game. How, how do you? How did you watch? watch I watched my rookies develop. It, you know, it didn't matter if they won or lost, and then they won. No, and I mean, like, oh, but that—that that, that, I mean, that because we won because Obi ball down. We love Obi. Yeah, yeah that, we Knicks love fucking Obi. love Obi. So we were like, yo, if that Obi goes, cooking, we watch. That goes it. to his point about being a diehard fan and, be a, and be a diehard. No matter what the outcome or the result is, that's that's the the pedigree of being. Man, a be, fan. don't just be a, be a diehard of everything, bro. Oh no, okay, we don't be a diehard. I don't need that. I don't need all that energy. Yeah, why not? You know how exhausting that is. People too cool nowadays. You too cool right a now, bro. A lot of bro. energy, bro. What, 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 why are you not passionate? Be passionate about something. It, be, I cannot be passionate nigga, about I something. Am. I can't be passionate about a you game know? fan or not. A team, that doesn't count. a player, something. I don't care what it is. I don't give a fuck what you into. Anytime I meet somebody that is wild into their shit, I don't care what it is. I love those type of people. Wait, so you calling me not passionate? No, I'm not saying you specifically. Oh, I'm about to say, I'm hold saying, the fuck on. Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> and what if I was? <laughs> yeah, because like, hold the fuck. And what fuck? if I was? I know you the last what one to talk I about was. me not being passionate, nigga. All the shit you see me do, let's, let's, <laughs> we ain't about to bark up that shit, motherfucker. That's not what I was saying. Okay, I'm all right, because I felt like it was... I'm yeah, saying people in general. On. He's just talking his shit. No, and, no, and I, I know. I know. He's defending. I'm right. saying people in general right. were getting on the T Wolves fans and the T Wolves players too much. Like, oh my god, I, like you've been there before. Yeah, All did. this excitement just to get ran by the Grizzlies and blah 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 blah. It's like, yo, you don't know that shit though. You don't know that. Be a, okay, always I, got something to say. I fucking everyone's hate that. always like, oh, leave it's, people alone. It's a good first step. Maybe next year. What if it's not no next year? What if it, they, what, what if, if they run that shit up right now? What if they run it up right now? What if they go to crazy one right now? Was well, Morant playing? Let's okay. Let's Morant's playing. playing. Let's not. Let's not get crazy. You never know, bro. I they mean, got they got four players. I like I'm, a lot. Yo, the Grizzlies gonna run through them niggas. I don't think they're gonna run through them. I think it's gonna be a very tough series. It's not. I think it's a tough matchup. It's Anthony not. Edwards could ball. D'Angelo Russell could go. Listen, Carl Anthony Towns is gonna give people problems. I just didn't know if. And Pat Beverly is going to be irritating the fuck out of John Morant for seven games. Yo. I don't think – I think the Grizzlies do win it. I don't think it's going to be a walk in the park, though. I think it goes maybe six. Maybe. Deciding if, – if those first two games are going to decide what this shit is. Oh, for sure. Definitely. If, 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 the if Memphis, uh, I think Sunday, Saturday, Saturday or Sunday. I think Sunday. that's when the, the yeah. real playoffs are because the, yeah. the last playing game is tomorrow or Friday. Got right. Um, though, if those first two games – Go winless, right? Sweep, right? Oh, I don't know, man. I, I, I think, don't even think it's a sweep, but I I'm mean, just, I'm, no, I'm saying if Memphis lose, go, yeah. if Memphis, if they go two and zero, oh, yeah, 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 it's a wrap. That's a sweep. I have a hard time believing that's a sweep that they get swept. I don't know. I like, I, don't, I like Minnesota. Like they're not going to win a game I'm at all. I'm just saying though. If, yeah. If if it, if it goes one one, cool. We got a series. Because I, be I feel like even if it goes two and zero, oh, they're going to win at least uh, a game. That's what I'm saying. Like they could, they're going to go back. Once that momentum, if that momentum climbs to a point where they don't have to look back, that's going to be a sweep. So, I mean, after seeing how that crowd reacted, right, if they go down 2-0, like, that's expected. Of course, yeah. They're going to have and momentum going in. They're going to come back to I was going to say, the first two games are... Uh, they're going to have momentum game. going in, but, like, once Memphis gets in that groove... I like Memphis a lot, man. It's they, not, they just play. It, them boys are not easy to stop. I saw... I got to... The good thing about... <laughs> Good thing about working at the Garden and the Knicks, even though the Knicks didn't have a, a great season, was I got to see other teams in love and love mm -hmm. each other having great seasons. And the team that impressed me the, the most by far was the Memphis Grizzlies. Like they just play, they they play like a college team with like 
You know what I mean? They just play hard. They're always in your face. They talk shit. They back it up. Well, they are, isn't it a relatively young team? They're hella young, too. Like, that's, they're, they're almost like... That's why it feels like a college team. Yeah, like, they're almost too young to realize, like, yo, you shouldn't you shouldn't be, like, a two-seed already. Like, you shouldn't be a, a, a finals that, favorite already. That's what you know I mean? mean? That's exactly... Like, that That right there. They're young, but they ready. Going into the playoffs with that energy that's and that right mindset, there. and they just running like a college team. Mm. And then you got some old dogs on, on Minnesota. Not, yeah. That, that that could get tiring. I mean, I like I like. Well, Minnesota's young too. I mean, Minnesota. No, no, Minnesota, yeah, yeah. Pat, but Bev, they're, they're, Pat Bev's is a, little, is a little longer the tooth, but and and Aston. Yeah, the, and Russell's a little bit. He's getting there. No, Russell's not no, too he's old. Not. He's, not, he's, he's like, like he's like twenty five, twenty six. But he's been down, oh. he's been on a lot Actually, of teams. He's been, on, he's been on a lot of teams. Nah, he's no, he's older than that. He's not. He's not young. I don't know. Anyway, well, he, D'Angelo Russell is definitely like younger than twenty five. Definitely. Anyway, well, he's I been think through the, a lot. He's been a lot he's of teams. All, he's, yeah, he's been through a lot of organizations. So, but uh, yeah, I think the youth is on the side of Memphis, and oh yeah, for if sure. They catch that groove, bro. Yeah. It could if that if that two zero happens, we're looking at a sweep. Weird weird thing is, as much as people he's talk 26. about Pat Beverly, he's twenty six years old. Well, the weird thing about Pat Beverly, well, twenty six isn't like. You know what behind the ears in the NBA? You've been around the block for yeah. a while, right? Yeah, nine times out of ten, you came in what, like at nineteen, twenty, nineteen, twenty years so old. Like, like you, you're doing already about five to seven right. years. Where like most of that Memphis Grizzlies like lineup is like two to three years, two three league. years in the league max. You know, yeah. but anyway, uh, Pat Bev, no, Versace I, robe on NBA Today, talking shit, sending sending yo, ass him, home. I, I, listen, like as as an I owner, love it. As annoying as he can be, and I love it. As petty as he can be, I you, love it. You have to let, to you gotta let somebody like live in a moment. It's like redemption is so big in the NBA, right? right. When a team, when a team trades you, or when people count you out, or you guys lost in the NBA Finals, Game Seven, whatever the case is, or you just missed the playoffs by one game. That next year, and that coming back to that same moment and being on the other side of it, mm-hmm. you can't like that kind of feeling. You can't let you can't dim that light right like right. i don't fuck with pat beverly like that but i can't. I think a lot of people don't and i think Why? no but like but it's but the, it's annoying but <laughs> you can't you can't you, you can't, can't not disrespect that oh, you can't like, not knock that you can't knock that moment yeah. like i saw and he was talking he was shit crying he had tears in his eyes over beating I, them bro yeah, i was like okay okay we don't gotta cry but that's his superpower though bro he cares too much he cares too much he cares about every he cares about the shit that we shouldn't care about like sometimes that could be your superpower. Sometimes that could get you into places that you shouldn't be at because you're the one willing to do the dirty work. But you're we the also, one we willing also, to grind I, out. I think obviously there's there's way more behind the the drama between him and the Clippers. Like maybe that was an ugly breakup. Maybe yeah, they, they said they said they gave up on him. They were like they thought you know. Yeah. And let's not forget like the the Pat Beverly narrative was nasty for a minute because of Russell Westbrook. Remember like Russell Westbrook was you know causing got an injury, got him hurt. He got in that press conference. He was like, you know, uh, Pat Bev trick y'all, man. Run around playing defense, just doing nothing. Like that was a thing that, like, that was, you know, turned into a meme. Like anytime somebody had bad games, like, yo, something, something trick y'all, man. Like, you know. <laughs> so I understand, like Pat Beverly getting that moment of redemption. The Lakers not even in the damn playoffs, mm. um, beating your old team in the Clippers. Like, if I'm Pat Beverly, man. You don't have to shut me up the hard way because I got everything the hard way and I'm going to just, you know, shit. Listen, man. Um, get it. I love Talk it. Talk your shit, I Pat Bev. You know, just back it up. When you get in those playoff games, when you get... Hey, and if you lose, you lose. Fuck and it. And take it gracefully because... You don't it, have to. <laughs> no, see, like that. Don't take do that. Take it how you no. take it. No, take it. No, I do. Take it gracefully. I mean, don't be disrespectful. The better team beats you. But, like, don't... No, you have to. You got to... Cheer, yeah, you won and cool. That's what's up, and we loved it, and we patted you on your back. All right, when you lose, like keep it, keep it a buck. Yeah, you probably be pissed off and frustrated, but don't be a sucker about it. Yeah. Nah, that's dope. <laughs> that's what's wrong with young niggas nowadays. Like, yeah. don't be a sucker. I mean, about you could. It. No, no, you, you could. Can. That's whack as fuck. You could. Don't be but a sucker if you want to be, no, a don't be a sucker. Don't angry. Be, lose gracefully and win gracefully. You can be angry. <laughs> don't be a. <laughs> no, but don't be a sucker about it. That shit is, that's that's. Rose, do you like losing gracefully? No. It's like not fun. Lo- I don't like to lose No at one all. likes to lose, but it's just like, yo, you're going to lose in life. And then you talk your shit. I'm yes, gonna, when I'm, you win. If I No, even if I lose. Even if I, I lose. Even if I lose, I'm going to talk shit. They ain't beat us, we beat ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, and you <laughs> sound flat. stupid. Yeah, nigga, we beat right, you. Either way, year. you lost. All right. You know? All right, catch me outside. No, well, right, I, I got to get y'all back next time, though. I got another playoff game to play. You going to get y'all back next time, though? 
No, no, but it, lose gracefully. Nope. Losing gracefully is overrated. Fuck it. Nope. And sounding like a bitch when you lose is, is overrated. I'll be well. that. Whatever. I'll be that. I'm with Cass some, on this one. Some people need that edge, yo. So goddamn I'm immature. I'm fuck. Fucking... Call me what you like. Bro, lose gracefully. Grace is overrated, bro. Yeah, fuck. No, it's not overrated. Ooh, Grace is overrated. Grace, boo. No, it's some people. not. Mm -hmm. Especially in sports, it's a game. No, because y'all don't, be don't, don't, don't know what grace is. That's what it is. Sure, I do. Oh I'm not. I'm, I overstand what it is. But in sports, fuck it. It's a game. <laughs> like, why but everyone's not? Everyone's competitive. Well, so it's, it's competitive. Like you can be competitive. I'm not saying that. I understand. I'm not, I respect, saying, I'm not listen, saying that. I will always be competitive them. on that court. Be competitive on that field. Talk your shit. Yeah. You know what I mean? Get your heads in. Talk your shit. Get your buckets in. That's what you're supposed to do. Yeah. You know what I mean, all right. But when it's all said and done. Yo, listen, yeah, I'm pretty pissed off that we lost. We should have beat these niggas, but the better team won. They shot the ball better, rebounded better, defense, this, that, and the third, whatever the case is. I'm not saying you got to praise these niggas, but it's like, was it is what like it praise is. To me. You right. got fucked up, you lost because you wasn't you wasn't on your shit. All right, Lo, you you good with math? How, how, what's, a, what's a percentage of players that like say that exact thing? You know, the better team won. I'm not saying... I'm not saying the main. I'm not saying the script has to be what I just said. But like you know, just. But I'm same. saying in the ballpark of that. Yeah. Like keep it a buck. Like yeah, you got beat. And yeah, and I'm pretty pissed off about this. Shit. I, I, on the pie chart, how many? Well, no, what's because percentage? niggas like don't 95 know what grace percent? is. Ninety-five percent. don't know what grace is. But I'm saying like ninety-five percent of players answer that way already. Give me that five percent of people. I don't. I'm cool on that like, five. Fuck that. <laughs> ain't better I'm cool than on, us. Cool on that five percent. <laughs> Obviously, you're not better than you lost. Well, Bron did it. Bron. He's like, everybody praying on my downfall, hoping I lose. Got to go back to their regular lives next time. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like. <laughs> the slow clap. Yes, Ron. Forget the grace for a second. Be a human being for a second, yo. You put all your hard work, your effort. You you literally left it all on the yeah. floor. And you still mad? A, a small part of me, like, of course, yes, be graceful in most times. I'm just a like, small I'm part just, of me I, understands just, if they're like, yo, I don't want to be graceful right now. I'm pissed off. Sometimes, like, I, I'm just not... And I'm not... This is not me saying I'm better than anybody or whatever the case is. I'm just... I was never like that. I was never like that person where it's like... Man, fuck you, because I was. I'm not. I'm not. And that honestly, person. most people aren't. Most people will take the L. And be like, you know what? The better man. Because I don't you, know. You, you, I don't you get humbled. I don't you know, know I mean? how to like. I don't know how to stop. Yeah. So you, if I go, like, I'm gonna go and be disrespectful and be rude, and it's right. like, you know what? I'd rather just. You either take get back. humbled or you be humble, right? So like, rather, you can say all that back shit and just be like, yo, they won, cool. Because if I know, if I keep going. Then it's not. It's gonna be about something else, and I, I, there's a switch that I can't turn mm -hmm. on and off. So I'd rather not. That's just me, though. Would you rather get humbled or be humble? Hmm. I, I have to be humbled. I guess, right? Because I, I, I can't, I'm not. Wait, be humble? No, I rather, I have to get humbled. Get humbled, yeah. Like, to. sometimes. Because I'm going to talk shit. Yeah, like, so, like, I, I, like, look, until I, I, until the numbers hit and it's like, hmm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> like, yeah, we, yeah. we get like humbled. Like the softball game we was at. Right. We played, yeah, we like, kicked our ass. Yeah, we well, you can, yeah, you can get humble. <laughs> you can get humble. And it pisses me off because we were supposed to win. You're supposed to, but y'all didn't. <laughs> well, that, I mean, you're supposed to win everything. So it's like. But no, no, no. I hate when people say that. I hate when people say that. When we say supposed to win. I fucking hate when, when people you lose say that. When you like that, it's like. They were up like seven we runs. Were, and like, no, oh, I hate we when people say, up. I was supposed to win. We were supposed to win. Then why the fuck didn't you? Because we just lost our groove. All right, so you can't say I was supposed to. We were up by too much to go to lose. I really say you, we should have won. All right. Well. Not nah, I was supposed to. We, you should have won. I'm all for humble me. <laughs> right, humble I'm just me. Say, yo, I win because I will come back and I, I will remember you, everything. Right, you right. are supposed I still to. Got beef you are supposed to have that revenge attitude. You're supposed to go back in the gym, put on some pounds, get in the gym, throw them shots up, get on the field, get your reps in. You're supposed to do that when you lose. That's what happens when you fucking lose. You have enough time on your hands. Mm. Wow. To get. You do. Now this. To get back in it. And it's like, yeah, you know what? When I come back to this very moment next year, it's going to be me on that podium and not y'all. I don't know. I mean, that's that. But <laughs> I know. I know. No, like, Lo is 100% right. Like, that is actually the case in most cases. In most cases. However. Guys, I have a question for y'all. I'd rather be petty. And it's that? not a random one. Okay. But we almost got to wrap up soon. No, right? I, yeah, we, we, we almost yeah, we okay. got a couple minutes. But I do have a question for you guys. What's up? So anybody who lives in New York knows what happened on Tuesday mm -hmm. in Brooklyn. Mm -hmm. And the they're calling him a bomber, but he wasn't really a bomber. He was a shooter. Okay. Right? So I think yesterday they announced that he got caught 
right? Somebody called mm-hmm. and and said they saw him. There's, and actually, there's two it's two different stories. Also, the funny part is they caught him right by low spot. So that Uh-oh. was speculation that Lowe is the one that Uh-oh. called him. <laughs> I'm kidding. They caught him That's right by Lowe. But they that. did catch don't him right, they don't did catch him right by his spot. People are so fucking gullible. Oh, no, no, no. I'm don't, joking, don't guys. Do but it was right by your spot. Yeah, I know it was. Because I went to Grayson to eat a burger, and she was like, they caught him right here by this McDonald's. Yeah, I don't I don't know. Well, I, this story is very suspect, and I'm it's not trying to go sus- too I'm not trying to do, go too deep mm, in my conspiracy theory. I am, though. Let's galaxy brain it. So what's the galaxy brain First, let's start with the story that was put out there. For the people story, that don't know about it. The first story, what? About, let's, let's put let's the start story with what out there. happened. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, go ahead. I mean, all I knew, I woke up, my mom called me. My mom never calls me. Either. She's like, where are you? I was like, I'm home. Mm. She's like, I'm watching the news. Um, a bunch of people got shot in a train station. I was like, what? So I go on Twitter. Mm-hmm. Like we all do. <laughs> like, that's, I didn't turn on the news. I went on Twitter mm-hmm. and I read the story about a Brooklyn shooter in, uh, in a Brooklyn train station mm-hmm. who allegedly went on a cart with a gas mask on, what did he release? Uh, I think it was like a canister of uh, gas, like smoke, and then like um, shrapnel and then, from it, and then shot. Like I think he shot ten people. He shot ten people. Ten people got shot, uh, and then like casually walked off. Yeah, because I think the the train doors were still open too, yeah. which is also weird. But he was doing it as it was pulling into the station, which is kind of smart of him because he then he yeah, could just like, get again, out. Just, like he just casually walked yeah. off. Yeah. So that story was released, but. I didn't see any video footage of the guy. Mm. No one I saw, saw his one, face. I saw mm. one clip of him in between cars. It was like a five second clip that like they showed. Not him. enough to show you. Not what enough he to like. know like what he looked like and how big his body build was. Mm-hmm. Right. So when they, the the description of the guy that they described was he was like five five, uh, heavy build, whatever the case is. The guy they got. <laughs> It ain't it math ain't mathing. <laughs> the guy they got looks like the neighborhood uncle. Bro, like and I'm the like neighborhood guy at the bodega that just I'm like, silly. how like if that's the nigga that, that to did find it. The antennas on my head right now. Dude, first if of that's all, the nigga that did, if, I seen the picture and I was like, this cannot be because New York City that day, guys, a lot of shit happened in New York that day. Aside from that, mm-hmm. was in shambles. Like the train stopped going uptown. Like Ubers were crazy. It was Bro, wild. Train, Traffic was ridiculous. Stop, yo, the train stopped yesterday, and I was like, "Oh, I'm it, not doing this." It was ridiculous. For folks, for folks who may not be in New York who listen to this show, he has, his, he has antennas on. This is my this is my conspiracy brother hat. Okay. If you've never been in a New York City train station, there are cameras. Everywhere. Everywhere, yo. They're little, Everywhere. but they're there. You can't even hop a turnstile without somebody. Like, hey, hey, hey. like you, no, oh, that's nothing. Not, that's not true. Well, like, I mean, now you can. Now <laughs> you can. No, that's not true. Anyway, <laughs> you can still do it. <laughs> I mean, unless, unless they're looking for you for something, they're right? Not like, I'm like, like niggas don't give a fuck. Continue. <laughs> anyway, plenty of cameras in New York City. So you mean to tell me, all them people running out, all that, all that commotion happening? Not How one. How did he get out? Is he a superhero? Like what happened? Not one. Surveillance photo of this dude walk either walking in, either walking out. You do know that the, the cameras in that station were broken that day. Oh, they just happened to be broken that's, that day. That, they, they, that, that seems very convenient. The cameras, oh, cameras, cameras, were, the cameras were down. Very convenient. That's suspicious. The cameras were down in that station that day. Mm. But then the other thing was they said, you know the guy Zach that he's been on Twitter talking about? I called the guy. Like Y'all didn't see that? Mm-mm. So they're saying that this guy named Zach called the NYPD. And told him, told them where he was. Mm. But then another story is the guy, the suspect, called NYPD and turned himself in. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like I don't know. Then it's just growing out. Well, I don't know. No. I don't know anything. It's just it's all right. Weird. I don't it's know very details, weird. right? That's hard. All I know is as a as a a level headed human, I seen this picture, and I said. You mean to tell me this guy, this guy, mm-hmm. had a gas? What was it? I don't was even know what it was. They said, they said he casually put it on, put the gas mask on. I guess threw the, the canister of gas and just started letting off shots. Now I'm not saying. All right, we can't judge a book by its cover, but I'm just looking at this guy and I'm like, I don't think he could sl- easily like no slide one, out. Like no one kicked him over. Or not, like, no, that's what I'm. Nobody tripped him. He can't easily just slide out like that. Like let me tell you something. Yeah, I don't know. The way they described this man's actions, you would have thought Jason Bourne pulled this shit That's off. That's what right? I'm saying. <laughs> like, I'm he like, had did he have a gas help? mask. He had all these sophisticated did he exit through the smoke tunnel bomb, in the subway? guns, all these type of things, right? This dude looked like Beetlejuice from Howard Stern. <laughs> 
I'm like, this is the criminal mastermind that shut down one of the That's greatest cities saying. in the world yesterday. So I thought this is the guy. Now I really think he went from the train. He went into the little tunnel. He had a little <laughs> door entrance. Well, okay, I'm, all right. Come on. How else did I'll, he get out? I'll humor. I'll humor y'all. So what's what's the play? Mm-hmm. If it's if it's if it's shaky, if it's a little you know unorthodox, what's the play? Some the awful, horrible, disgusting law must have been passed yesterday. Or well, didn't our, uh, didn't an, um, that district attorney or something get arrested? The, the, lieutenant, the lieutenant governor the lieutenant? Got, got arrested. Lieutenant for, governor were they arrested. trying to like... I mean, that was all over the news too, so you couldn't hide oh, that. I'm like, so what? Yeah, I mean, it was, like, was on. It was all over the news for like a hot second. No, it was like, like back to that, Brooklyn. Those Brooklyn. were the two yeah. stories that were back, back and forth. Bombing. That was, those were the two stories that were back and forth that day. I remember that because I was. Like, There's been nothing but bombings, and Eric Adams needs to do something about the subway all and now this in the, week the, long. And Eric Adams has fucking COVID. Yeah. I don't know what the okay. play is. I just that's don't. what I'm trying to feel like. What's the play? I just feel like it's very sus. I saw this pic, this man's. It all sounds hella nah, sus, but dog. like, what is it? Like, what is it? I what said this they... man did not shut down New York City, and then went to McDonald's on Ooh. First Avenue to just. Yeah, get like what? who's hiding it? What's what's being hid? What happened? Also, if you're, why were you in that train station in Brooklyn, and then in the Lower East Side or East Village of Manhattan the next? Like, it does, usually people that are that deep in Brooklyn mm. stay down there. Well, it's, I mean, it's also Conspiracy easy to get, brother. the train they were on, it's easy to get down from Brooklyn to, to So he just, Ave. the next day, just went back to the station, he blew up and just got on the train. And Pretty much, man. This is all they stuff. just They just found know. some guy, and they were like, hey, some guy. To put the blame on? Gotta take this, take this L for you real quick. I don't know. I don't know. Just, I'm going to keep, obviously, it's going to be a story that continues, but it just feels like a little bit too much. No, I, I don't. Yeah, it's happening. It's it's. Uh, I don't know if he was they woke out there, man. It's gonna be a wild summer. I guarantee. I don't, think, I don't know if he yeah, was planted. It I don't I think know. it's like a, a apocalypse summer, bro. Well, yeah, nigga, we was locked up for two fucking years. Everyone's coming out like <laughs> the first day, yo. The first day it was really nice. This shit happens. Yeah. The first day is really fucking nice. Yeah, we gonna see. We gonna see though, man. <sighs> yeah. Stay safe out here, guys. Yeah, everybody stay safe, especially in New York City. Uh. Stay safe everywhere because people are wilding. Yeah, period. In no, stay safe, fucking period. Uh, Lo, what you got going on this week, bro? Not a goddamn thing, brother. Sweet, Rosie, what's up to you? This week, I feel like I have something and I can't remember. Oh, I have. Um, I'm today. I mean, this will come out like Friday or Monday, whatever. But today, Thursday, April fourteenth. That's what the day is. Mm-hmm. Yeah, April fourteenth. This is the five year anniversary of Kendrick Lamar's damn album. Mm-hmm. I did a special on Apple Music where you can listen to me. Break down the project uh, on demand, and you can listen to it anytime you want. So it'll still be there by the time this episode comes out. But it comes, it came out today, so I'm pretty proud of that. So go check that out if you have an Apple Music subscription. Nice. If you don't, sign up for it. Um, also, I heard Pusha T's album, twelve songs, six produced by Ye, six produced by the Neptunes. Ooh. I won't reveal the features out of respect for Push. Ooh. Um, but, but it's, it's not Nas. Nice. <laughs> Clearly, it's not not. Yeah. It's not not. Uh, yeah, it's no not, not. feature. <laughs> not, not, it was supposed to be, but nah. He's not. Right. On uh, it's a great, great fucking rap project. Um, I didn't detect any bars directed at Drake, but I think the chopper was spraying for everyone, just competition wise. Mm. Um, but yeah, if you're a fan of the cocaine raps, the lavish lifestyle, talks about being a father. Um, He's in a different pocket with Pharrell beats, but he's in that bar, bar you up pocket with the yay beats. So when this project comes out, revisit this conversation and you'll see exactly what I'm talking about. But yeah, it's called Almost Dry. Um, and the, the current single right now is Neck and Wrist. But that, that project is fucking insane. So shout out to Push for inviting me to the listening session. Just wanted to put that out there. But Shout out to a friend of the show, Pusha T. I was going to say, now that you said that, I did me and Kaz did go to Key Glock's event? Shout out Glock, is and her? it was dope to just see his little young Dolph tribute, man. Yeah, it's man. like it's his first time back out, you know, since Dolph's passing, and it was it was it was good seeing him. There was like a little private dinner that he had with a couple of writers um, that we both went to, and it was like a dope like dolphin ice yeah. sculpture as well. It was just good to see him on stage and like like. You could tell he's he's still trying. Yeah, man. I I I I'm not gonna hold you. I did feel a little, you know. I don't know what to say, man. Like you know, the last time, like I feel like we were like his last interview right before I, I, I right before that. Dolph passed, and uh, you know, you could definitely tell. Like even like the interview that he had here, you could tell like this rap life wasn't really you know 
He wasn't that enthusiastic. He's not an industry. He's not an industry dude. Yeah. Like that. he was like oh. he said that. <laughs> yeah, no, he literally like, said that to us. He verbatim. Like, he's not an that. industry dude at all. So like the conversation, hearing that conversation, and then like Dolph passing like a few weeks after that, um, and seeing him back out here in New York promoting his tour, promoting his music, and touring. Yeah, I mean, obviously he's got hella support out here. It was sold out at uh, uh, Irvin Plaza, and uh, it was an incredible show. But man, just just prayers to him, bro. Because I know it's yeah. uh, business still got to be done, and I'm sure he's probably still hasn't really truly healed from that. But you know, just gotta you know shout out to Go- to, to 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 Glock, friend of the show, and um, you know, much success, man. Continue keeping on, yeah, keeping man. on, bro. Congrats, congrats to, to congrats to him. It was just good seeing him out, you know, doing the Dolph set. Because who else is gonna be able to do that? You know, We're, right. So anywho. Gucci? I think we're Gucci, man. Are you ready to take us home? Are you taking us home? You got it. Take us home, Rosalie. Ro- us no, home. you know Los Angeles. <laughs> no. You know. <laughs> you have taking us home. I've been bringing us in. You take us home. This is true. Go ahead. All right, guys. Like we always do with this time right here, uh, <laughs> make sure you please, 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 please subscribe to YouTube.com slash Kazim uh, so you can get all these podcasts in this uh, full form. Uh, you'll see little clips here and there as well of us and just having adventures around the world wherever we go and having people come in there. So just subscribe. You never know what's going to pop up in there. But every Monday you will see this full episode as well um, as on Everywhere You Stream Podcast, Spotify, Apple, Amazon, SoundCloud, uh, wherever it is you get it. And uh, that's about it. So mm-hmm. like we always do with this time, stay free, stay safe, and always stay say less. less. We'll see you next week, people. Where the fuck is Sam? Oh. Yeah, where the fuck is Sam? <laughs> Sheesh. <laughs>